Star Report. I'm your host, Star. Welcome to the show. Diddy! Diddy, where are you, my nigga? Come on, man. I'm disappointed. Diddy, you're from my generation. Hmm? Real niggas don't want to go to jail, but we ain't scared. Diddy, did you put the barrel in your mouth? Kids, we're telling. We're snitching. We're going to help Diddy find his way either back to the U.S. or send back the body. Did he blow his brains out somewhere down in the Caribbean? Oh, folks, I'm on Real Nigga Time again this evening. Phone lines open right now, okay? Also, my showrunner, inspired by uh, the homie Reggie White Jr. Oh, he's telling again. <laughs> A real nigga, huh? And he's talking about Jay-Z and the, uh, I have to say alleged because I've never seen anything go down. The alleged uh, relationship with, uh, what is her name? Inga? Inga something. Jay-Z and Foxy Brown. So my question to you folks tonight, will Foxy Brown expose Jay-Z? Foxy Brown is a salty female. I'm going to try not to call her by the B word. We met years ago, twice actually. One time she wanted to meet me because, you know, just we were just going ape shit on the radio. And then she got really weird on me. And I, I don't want to go through the whole story, but um, she's a salty Brooklyn female. And I assure you, I assure you, she looks at Beyonce and she says, that bitch living my life. <laughs> Can I get an amen early? <laughs> Foxy Brown probably looks at Beyonce and Jay-Z and she gets salty and just <sniffs> she spits when she sees the two of them, right? So that's my show this evening. Also, um, I have to ask you guys a question. Um, is Donald Trump a real nigga? A real nigga standing on business. Now, Homeland Security ran down on him once upon a time. He didn't get up in the sky and hightail it out of here. Huh? He still has not has not given any money, money to the judge or to the court or the uh um the the, the, the fraud case in New York City. He ain't gave him a dime. He's on real nigga time, if you ask me. He's got the money, he keeps making more money, more money up, up to six almost seven billion now by um a truth social network. He's one of those people who, who says or has the mentality, yeah, I got it, but, you know, I, I, I'm going to buy this outfit. I pay my bills when I want to pay them. Huh? Florida boy Jay should be calling in at some point or camming up. All right, phone lines are open again. But, yeah, the showrunner, I'm not going to keep that on the screen too long. Will Foxy Brown expose Jay-Z? I don't know how her money is. Or uh, is she on tour? I know she she pushed out a beautiful bundle of joy. Uh, her and Spraga Benz, my homie, they broke up many, many moons ago. And I'm sure she's sitting back, you know, thinking, damn, I need a bag. Kind of somewhat sort of how, like, Cassie did. And, and, and salute to whoever left a comment uh, under yesterday's video. Pardon me, I like to give credit where credit is due. Somebody said, all of this could have been avoided if Diddy would, would have just given Cassie a baby. Can I get an amen again in the live chat? <laughs> Sometimes you have to swallow your pride and just say, yo, she's been riding with me. You know, <laughs> let me put one up in her, put one in the oven and just deal with whatever. She has shown and proven her loyalty. OK. All right. And guys, I do want to break down the difference this evening with regards to um, Homeland Security raiding Diddy's homes in California and Florida. I see some of you, and, and I like to give credit where credit is due. You know this. But some of you, are, you keep saying the feds, the FBI. Homeland Security is not the feds. There's, there's a difference. Um, let me just read something to you here. The Federal Bureau of Investigation is not part of the Department of Homeland Security. The FBI is an executive department like Homeland Security, but it is an intelligence service and does not have a cabinet secretary. Now, the Department of Homeland Security does indeed have a cabinet secretary. In case you don't know, her name is Evan Ryan. That's who pushed, if you ask me, the button on Diddy, okay? Evan Ryan, born uh, April the 18th, 1971. Uh, do, 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 I think she's uh, Irish and Catholic. Yeah, Irish Catholic. Damn, so, so that's who pushed a button on my homie Diddy. She's 52 years of age, doing
do a little research if you like. But yes, the Department of Homeland Security ran down on Diddy, got got him, uh, you know, in flight somewhere. Okay. And in case you don't know a little bit about the Department of Homeland Security, it, it isn't really a law enforcement agency. It is more of an umbrella agency for a lot of different departments. Most of these agencies were held under different departments and were consolidated under DHS. A few of them, TSA, you know, they they, they search your bags and all sorts of shit and fuck up your life at the airport. But um, it's not the FBI, okay? And uh, the CIA does not operate within the United States of America. Some of you say, yo, the CIA. No, <laughs> the CIA only handles shit, you know, abroad, okay? All right, that's my show this evening. Um, some other things I may touch on. Hang on a second. Um, holy smokes, Krispy Kreme donuts to be sold at McDonald's nationwide. I don't know whether to say amen or just or just say now now we're gonna see niggas having shootouts at the drive through. Pow 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 pow. <laughs> yo yo, fucked up my order. Where's the Krispy Kremes? Okay. And um, a little bit later, if we want to talk about um, uh, California fast food wages will be increasing to $20 an hour in April, okay? And currently, they, they are making $16 an hour, okay? Salute to the Chicano females uh, when I took my California road trip. Always served me my breakfast in the RV. You know this already. I drove from Seattle down to San Diego and took like almost three weeks. Always served me my breakfast with a smile. If there was ever an issue, they gave me an extra hash brown, you know, just. <laughs> so I don't mind. I have no problem with uh, people in California making $20 an hour, um, you know, at, at, at the fa fast food workers altogether. Let's just say that, okay? All right. So tight on the phones, guys. want to make sure I'm all set up and situated. Thank you for your support early. Uh, who's tapping in? Uh, uh, pigs. What? Pigs that don't. Fly straight. Did I say that right? Thank you so much for your support. Hopefully I said your name right. Uh, House of Anaconda. Uh, this is all about Clive Davis star. Okay, okay. Let, let's do some conspiracy stuff tonight. This is his prostitution uh, program with Diddy. Uh, okay. 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 <laughs> Why not? Let's get to the bullshit this evening. <laughs> all right. I'm sipping some uh, 14 hands tonight. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg has still got an issue with me. <laughs> he ain't sending me no Cali red, red wine. Damn, that nigga's still salty, okay? All right, um, and a little bit later, we will talk about my guy, 4-5. He's now selling um, um, uh, Bibles for $60. Donald Trump. You know, I was talking about selling prayer cloths. Remember that, Troll Babies, a couple of years ago? Inspired by the great Reverend Ike, he used to sell prayer cloths. And, and now here comes a uh, Trump selling uh, Bibles. Standing on business, I, I, I have to say, he's, he's a real nigga to me, all right? All right, and um, let's just get to our show. All right, the hunt for Sean P. Diddy Combs. Diddy, are you out there? Or did you put the barrel in your mouth, mouth my nigga? We need to know. Um, Eddie, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Got to make a donation. Kicking niggas' backs in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> objectively, it's never from a place of malice, okay? Uh, Blade is tapping in. I have to admit it. Trump is a real nigga. He's taking his court case like a man, and he ain't told on anyone. That's a fact. Oh, man. And hey, Penelope, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, okay. And who, hang on a second. Uh, Relentless Aaron, who are you, sir? Who are you? I don't know. Oh, okay, right, right, right. Sir, do you want to call in again? You you were a good sport yesterday. Um, if you can send me a, a screenshot of your book, I will post that in my community section. I drive traffic to people's platforms. Okay, this is the guy who called in yesterday, and he claims that Diddy wanted to, you know, uh, uh, um, something about a late night, a car chase, and a, and a shot ripping. Pow! You know, and uh, well, but thank you, Aaron. Uh, I'll get you on the line if you want to call in at some point, okay? And um, Sean, I got your donation. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, okay. Let's go to area code uh, two one six. Tuesday. This is the hunt for Sean P. Diddy Combs. Are you there? Are you up to speed? Big, big nigga. Good evening. Good yes, evening, sir. big nigga. Yes, sir. How are you? Uh, 
Oh, uh, I was, you know what? I was doing good. I'm cool to that first damn caller, man. So please don't waste everybody's time with someone who didn't want to have a conversation. I, I don't argue with niggas. I got you. I got you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, for sure. But, um, yeah, did he, ain't no telling where his ass at for real. I know they said they was tracking the plane. Yeah. And they was, he, they was, he was on his way to a, uh, some kind of Caribbean island somewhere where it's like void of extradition for the United States or whatever. The nigga left the kids. <laughs> Man, he, he, he got on his. Sir, he left young adults. I, <laughs> Sir, those, those grown, grown ass. Uh... Well, well, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> he left the, yeah, he left the grown ass. He left the grown <laughs> He left the grown ass young adults <laughs> to get, get, get the steel bracelets put on. Come on, shit. they got the steel taste of the steel bracelets. <laughs> hey, now they get the taste. They get the taste of steel with the taste of not being no little rich niggas. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> then you get some steel bracelets put on you like a regular nigga from the hood. You're still a nigga mm. at the end of the day, nigga. You know what I mean, steel nigga. But um, I, I think he would be kind of. I mean, the nigga is. Mad, I ain't gonna say he's stupid because he done made hella money and all, but the nigga mad arrogant. I don't think he would be arrogant enough to try to get over there with Russell right now over there in Bali because that would just be the more than likely the obvious place that people would think he'd be going. Mm -hmm. Plus, he know Buddy too, so I don't know if he'll be that arrogant, but who knows, man? The nigga been doing this stuff for 30 years, man, so he might just be that that cocky and arrogant, man. But uh, I, if I, I can respond to what you've said, if I can respond to what you said, uh, Russell was just served yesterday by a process server in Bali, so so he's up, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, he's upset, and and it's to me that speaks volumes because no, there is no extradition from Bali to the USA, but he he has been officially touched abroad. So I don't know if that's where Diddy's going. Uh, I, I hold no malice in what I say. You know this already. And, and that's why we can speak freely and let other people talk, regardless of what color, ethnicity, or, or whatever it is that you may be. Right. But, um, yeah, you're right. Diddy has shown tremendous arrogance. Not that there's anything wrong with that, because I'm ego-driven. But the, the, the charges of sex trafficking, again, from Homeland Security, not the FBI, Certainly not the CIA. Um, it's shine time. And his lawyer released a statement today. Well, okay, well, that's cute. Well, where where is he? You released a statement saying he's innocent. Are you coming back to, to to fight the allegations? Go ahead. I was no, I was gonna say the same thing. I was gonna take your your, your statement, shine time on the nigga. Mm. They shine time, no, they shining on these niggas now. But you know what? Uh he, he that arrogance, like he should have, you're supposed to be arrogant. You know, as a, as a man, you, you're supposed to run, run around with a sense of arrogance. But nigga, when you start getting hit with these, when the eyes start looking at you, man, you got to, you got to chill. You got, you got to lay, you got to lay back and chill, bro. You done had a 30 year run of running a month. You know what I mean? So you got to chill. But you know who I do want to hear from in all of this? And you probably not going to hear from him. Who's that? He'd be so quiet, man. But we might end up having to hear from him. Usher. I want to know Usher. what's going on with the Usher. <laughs> Usher, baby. Yeah, Usher. Yeah, because you know he supposedly had gave Usher. Sir, 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 sir. Like, may, may I? May I? <laughs> Usher just performed <laughs> halftime at the Super Bowl. He just got married. Usher is, is not going to get involved in what's going on right now, in my oh, opinion. No. But I'll give you the last word. Your last no, word. No, no. Yeah, he, yeah, for sure. Hell no, sure. he ain't gonna get involved. Sure. Hopefully, hopefully his ass gets subpoenaed or something. You know what I mean? And, and he has to do something. But um, I seen another one on the show runner where you said, uh, "Will Foxy Brown expose Jay Z?" Oh, oh. <laughs> Finish up on that, Jigga man. Come on out. I mean, hey, she should. She should, man. It's, get all, get all these weird ass niggas out of here, man. Regardless of color, I ain't on that, man. If you could be purple, if you're a weirdo, if, if you grooming kids and you're doing all this weird stuff, get them out of here. I don't give a damn who you is. You know, get them out of here. And I, I hear a lot of people say, well, them girls, they was, they was hot in the pants and this is it. Nigga, it's naturally all young, younger girls going to like older men. It's, it's on you as a man to tell that young girl, little girl, get your little ass out of here. I thank you for the call, sir. Hopefully, Foxy. I thank you for the call.
For sure. For sure. Folks, this is the Objective Perspective. You are welcome to call, state your thoughts, your opinion. Tr try not to make it about me. Try not to assume we are of like mind. I talk about myself all the time. You know what it is with me. I'm a businessman. I'm a capitalist, ego-driven. I know how I am perceived in America, but it does not hinder me. It does not define me. I need to say that because we have uh, what appears to be uh, some newer people coming into the platform. Everyone can chime in. DJ Duya, I got your donation. Thank you so much for your support. Okay. Um, loud, I got your donation. Mm. Diddy is owed favors. He's good. Okay, well, well, is he going to stand on business and, and face the music, so to speak? Gone. I, I hope he's okay. I, you know, I hope he didn't put the brow in his mouth, you know. But if he does, then he does. Hey, you know, real niggas do real things, right? Uh, Smooth Gucci, I got your donation. Baltimore Bridge was a, a quiet terror attack. You know, I um, I'm willing to talk about that, but let's not, in any way, shape, or form, you know, uh, make fun of that situation. Uh, based upon my research, six people have died. And if you watch the video, which many of you did, you can see the workers on the bridge. On the bridge, when it went down, the flashing lights. They've got a black governor, a black mayor, whatever you consider yourselves uh, to be. Men of color. Is anybody talking about getting sued? I could not find, unless you tell me who was operating the boat. Was it a migrant? Why is that information not being put out there? Um, okay, thank you. Maurice, I got your donation. Let me get you on the line, sir. Thank you for your continued support. Let's go to area. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. <laughs> no. Um, 646, good evening. The hunt for P. Diddy, a.k.a. Puff Daddy, a.k.a. Sean Combs. Are you there? Area code six four six and five yes, four. Hi, hi. How are you? I'm great. How about you? How you doing? Great. Where do you want to start? Good. So I mean, we're back at it again with Puff. I mean, you yes, know, it is yes. what it is. Yeah, yeah. Think, I'm here to scrape the plate to squeeze the eagle. <laughs> Make no mistake about it. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. You know, Puff is not really one of my. Uh, he, <laughs> you know, growing up in the Bronx and everything, he was my favorite of. Uh, a lot of um, rappers that was out there, and I think he did wonders, but for what he did do, um, the rest of his legacy just really got tarnished. So him now getting in all this trouble, I think everybody coming for him and just like, you know, salivating at the fact that he going down. It's just out of the simple fact that all the dirt he did. Just if I can jump in early, so, career. if I can jump in early mm -hmm. so that it's clear to the newer listeners, that's not what we do here. We don't just do this for fun to to be malicious in, in my approach. I'm 59 years of age. Uh, I know Diddy. We've had great conversations. We butted heads at one time. But um, I am here to to uh, convey the information, the news to the watchers, to the viewers but nothing from a place of malice, you know? And, and let's just also say this. He has been accused at this point. He has not been convicted. Please proceed. Yeah, but that public opinion is something else vicious, and I think it's really taking a toll. And I just want to just remind people as they're calling in and things like, of that nature, anytime you see a public mention this way, I mean, I'm just looking at the pictures. I actually just got a a look at the pictures of how they raided his home. Yeah. Um, I guess time will tell to see exactly what they found to, that would make this worth it or would make this okay. But the fact that she would damage his home while his family was inside, maybe his sons are grown, but his daughters are not. Um, and the fact that they had detained them all, I don't find this to be funny. I don't even find it to be cute. Puff does deserve what he needs to have coming to him. If in fact all of these things are true, that what he did um, alone, I 
I can't make sense of how he left his kids in the house and his and I say kids being that they're his children, right. not that they are children. Right. But I cannot understand how he left them in the house and other people were on planes, diverted, whatever the case may be, but they were not, not in the house to face homeland security. Right. I would like an answer to that before I even comment any further. But Puffman it's just what it is what it is, but I'm never okay with a public mention like this. Mm-hmm. This this to me just seems to be excessive. And if it's not in, you know, just go in and get them, do what you gotta do. But all of this extra stuff, yeah, it's it's not working for me. Yeah, yeah. But I would like if I can jump in and then I'll give you the last word, as I yeah. as I always do. Yeah. Um, I hear the sure. sincerity in your voice, uh, but again, we we have to do what we do by way of um, um, providing information. I do research. I think you know that, uh, and and I I wanted to make it clear, starting out in the beginning beginning of the show here, the difference between Homeland Security, okay, and the FBI and the CIA, because a lot of people, you know, they have it twisted about why this type of raid went down. He has already yeah. been considered a threat to this country. So to some degree, I can see why he would take off. However, however, you know, um, he, he's got business interests here. He did sell off the remainder of his stock or portion of Revolt TV. Maybe he knew this was coming I'm down. I'm sorry, sorry. Correct me if I'm wrong, but did they not? I thought they didn't arrest him. They thought, I thought they not, questioned him. I, well, no, no, hang, hang on, hang on, hang, hang on. I'm just saying, I, I, I think that he knew this was coming down because he started selling off uh, certain business assets, you know. And if you look at right. the the history of, um, let, let's say, men of color, you know, R. Kelly, Russell mm-hmm. Simmons, mm-hmm. and others, uh, Bill Cosby, who have been persecuted beyond yeah. beyond, you know, a, a right. rational means, if you will. Maybe right. that's why he said, right. hey, you know what? Let me cut my losses. I'm out of here. But go ahead and finish up and take your time, please. Right. Right. Oh, I was just going to say, I thought that they had actually did stop him. From the, I read a couple of reports that they stopped him at an airport, I believe. And they um, questioned him and took his phone already. And they let him go. So my thing is, if he is that much of a threat, that and you need to do all of this and you do have this so publicly i do believe that the police the governmental agencies do have a responsibility in actually protecting their citizens rights until they can be tried fairly in the court of law not this way this public mention this is what i mean by a public mention mm-hmm. and i you know you said not to blame you so i'm not <laughs> don't take it personal i'm not talking about you indirectly i'm just saying the masses the mass opinion seems to be, um, you know, he's already guilty. Let's just go ahead and make fun of him, his kids, everything else. I mean, even with some of the callers today, it's just like their opinions are already so formulated against him. Yeah. Do I think- You're doing good, but please don't direct your commentary towards my callers. That has nothing to do with you. Okay, nothing not a problem. You. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm just, just listening as, you know, a, a listener. And that's my assumption. Okay. So that's what I felt, and I believe it. But I'm saying at the same. Well, thank you for chiming it in. It just seems like a, I have to take other calls. Thank you for assumption. chiming in, and uh, I hope that you will continue yes. watching. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay. 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 I give you the last word, as you know I do. Florida boy J. Yes, I'm up to speed on uh, Diddy's drug mule. His drug mule, but uh, that's not the boy. <laughs> so some old washed up. A college basketball player that was uh, supposedly, allegedly supplying drugs uh, to whoever. And he will tell them, sure. That's not the reason why Diddy has uh, hightailed it out of uh, the States. Where's Florida Boy Jay? Is this for him right here? Is this the president of the Real Nigga Network? Florida Boy Jay. President of the Real Nigga Network reporting, uh, corresponding right now tonight. How's everybody doing? How are you doing tonight, Star? Good to, good to hear from you. When I spoke earlier, you were getting uh, your hair retwisted and you were getting a Manny and Petty, but you you were kind enough to, uh, uh, to, to, to say that you would call in tonight. 
Yeah, uh, I not the Manny and Petty, but I definitely went oh. to uh, my stylist. He gave me the retwist with the plaque. The retwist, that's uh, what it was. The retwist, yes, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the retwist plaque. Um, a good FBA owned business. She does the retwist. Her husband does the, the haircuts and lineups. So I got to shape up nice. right after the re retwist nice. is out of there in about nine minutes, man. Salute to them. Okay. Quality on style. Um, also, uh, the Foxy Brown situation. I don't feel like we've uh, uh, had too much uh, conversation about that. I want to get to that and uh, what she said and uh, some of the red flags that I picked. Salute to Reggie White Jr. Um, I'm looking at him right now, and he he's 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 sane of sane mind, sober, talking directly into the camera, and he speaks about Jay Z and underage girls. So I mean. Uh, it, it only takes one person, and I don't wish this upon Jay-Z. He and I have been very, very cool over the decades. It only takes one person to file a lawsuit, and then the sharks smell blood, and then and then they come out from uh, all angles and all sides. Yes? Yes, but I think the difference between Diddy and Jay-Z is that Diddy is not going to bite the hand that promotes him, feeds him, and put him on the pedestal to have the deals he has. I think he's seen what happened with Kanye West and he's seen what happened with Diddy in the last two years. And he's sitting back and saying, Hey, why do I need to uh, jump out here for niggas and try to uh, uh, remove my name for these companies that pay me to sell alcohol and low vibrational vices to my own community? Why should I, uh, 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 you know, be an upstanding pawn at this point? Because they took away Kanye's two Billy gave it to Diddy overnight for him being a fed, like Kanye said, but at the same time, Diddy want to fold the bag because, you know, niggas want to be too pro-black and, you know, once they feel like the liquor money, the splits ain't right, I want to come back to negotiation table. The Rock wasn't having it. You pissed off the wrong people, just like Ye. And, you know, unlike Ye, he didn't have any allegations to bring him down. But with a Diddy, it's showing Jay-Z that, listen, I got to click in type the NFL. I got to click in type these companies. I ain't about to drop no music. I got to sit back, let Beyonce get the bag, mm. and, 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 I'll, and I'll just fade away into the business. If I can jump in for a second, Florida Boy J, yeah. if I can jump in here. Um, what you said is very key. Uh, uh, I'm paraphrasing. Uh, pushing, pedaling, hustling, low vibration, uh, uh, music to, to your own... Vices. Vices, vices. vices, vices. To your own... Let's say community, because race is a social construct. It's not a concept, right? So Absolutely. you get to a certain point when you are an entertainer, if you will, and, and you know, you have to look at what you're putting out there. If you're on stage and you're, you know, and you're in your 50s and you're still talking about drug dealing, calling women bitches, but yet and still you have daughters and granddaughters. That's an issue, yes, and 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 it's like people accept that they accept this low level behavior, but then when somebody you know, questions, you know, that type of of of, of um, um, art, if you will, you know, then it's a problem. Maybe it's just time that did he answer for these things, objectively speaking, and he and I are very cool. But but how long will he go on hustling poison? Vodka and other things, smut. Not not that you know we should censor art, but you know maybe it's just shine time. Go ahead, take your time and finish up, or wherever else you want to go. Oh yeah, because uh, it was also kind of segueing to the Foxy Brown, and I want to read some of the things she said when she was like, "Fans aren't always privy to our most sacred behind the scenes, but as the young Bonnie, what do you mean the young Bonnie, Bonnie and Clyde?" Like, why are you referencing a song that he made with his wife? And we all know the historical reference between Bonnie and Clyde. They were a couple. So why would you say that knowing the type of... When did she say that? And what's the source, if you don't mind me asking? This was a happy birthday ho Instagram post that she made uh, like probably a year or two ago. Okay. Like, so, so it would appear that she's taking shots? I'm not, not sure. No, 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 no. She's bigging him up through this post. Oh, okay. But when she says... The jewels Jay installed in me since I was 15 years old, still care for Echelon, talking about uh, the, um, you'll never see us engage in lame effery. Mm. You know, just he was big and hove up. But what I'm saying okay. is, 
some of the things. And she's already said, too, that she, uh, you know, she's protecting Hope. I don't think she's going to expose Jay-Z because when she was going through her medical situation, she was diagnosed. Jay-Z did write multiple songs for her next album and put money into it. And then he also gave her a deal at Def Jam. I think he gave her a, a, a double R, Rolls Royce. Uh, she was going through all sorts of fighting with people in there. Hair and nail salons. Yeah, I, I know their history. And Jay-Z has always been an honorable man to me. However, you know, um, as people get older, even if they have uh, gotten a bag and things of that nature, certain things start to wear on your, 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 your heart, shall we say. And she's a mother. I don't know how old her beautiful seat is now, but, you know, when you... And I'm not saying that... Daisy did anything to her, but according to Dame Dash and others, something needs to be addressed. So I hear what you're saying, you know, but um, as, she, as she gets older, maybe she might feel different just because he gave her things and bought her presents and yada, yada, yada. Go ahead. You know why she's not? And this isn't a, a, a black American woman thing or Christina Daddy, and it's not a black woman issue at all. This is the psyche of a woman. When she is, you know, when they talk, you know, we got your aunties, your sisters, your uh, your moms talk about when they're in high school and they had the guys who graduated still picking them up in cars. Mm. And they they romantic they romanticize that type of dynamic, right? And for her, for Jay Z to be that for her to be publicly, but like hitting in plain sight where she knows that she can keep her mouth shut. That's always gonna be her little. Oh, when I was 14, 15, 16, mm. Ho was picking me up. Ho gave sweet me Jesus. Sick. Ho made sure I was straight. Women aren't ever gonna turn on that first nigga. That you you remember the girl like when, once I start dating niggas with cars, we ain't riding the bus no more. Once I start dating niggas, mm. got me a skybox. We ain't sitting in the stands no more. Once I fly first class, I ain't fly coach no more. We know that's the psyche of women, because we know women, right? So at the end of the day, she's not going to expose Hope okay. because that's always going to be her. Gotcha. Um, gotcha. Okay. Her, her feather on her cap. Okay. Okay. When are you going live uh, next, Florida Boy J? Uh, because people always ask me and you you haven't posted in my community section yet. When are you posting either content or going live on Florida Boy J on YouTube? Yeah, um, I'm posting clips tomorrow. We're going live Friday. I, uh, I didn't see a link to uh, my last episode that we recorded Friday only because um, I only really got like an hour into it and I had to leave out. We were about to go out that night. So I'm going to send you uh, the clip when we drop this Friday. Perspective Facts Podcast, Florida Boy J on YouTube. Subscribe, tap in, comment. I appreciate it. Start. And remember what, what I said what? about Foxy Brown. She ain't going to okay. tell on that nigga gotcha. because that's her. That's her. Gotcha. Now, now, hang on. You and I have to talk about uh, President Trump selling uh, Bibles for fifty nine ninety nine. That's my guy. I voted for him twice. I will vote for him again. Uh, the presumptive Republican nominee. Okay, and he he's making money by way of Truth Social and other platforms, billions. But he still has not um, uh, paid the uh, the bond, even though they reduced it in in the New York civil fraud case. I don't think he wants to to put up money for those properties again. For those who didn't see yesterday's broadcast, he owns leases. For 40 Wall Street, he owns the ground floor lease. He owns a lease for Nighttown. Trump Tower is a 30-year-old building. I'm sure the wa the wiring needs to be updated or the the the, the electrical um everything, the codes and the yada yada yada. And and uh let me just say this last thing. In Trump Tower, there's a lot of uh rent stabilized apartments. So uh my question in layman's terms is Trump a real nigga? He's not giving them a dime, he's got the money. What say you, Florida Boy J? I can't call him a real nigga, but I'll say it's gangster. I'll say it's real, it's real gangster how he's moving around, how he <laughs> has certain things put in place. Because see, we don't want to mix thugs with gangsters, those two different things. We don't want to mix real niggas because real you know, and, and gangster. This is gangster what he's doing. Okay. If you really, you know, know the definition of it. The way he's thumbing his nose, no, I'm not paying that bail. Yeah, I'm going to get the district attorney who put cases on me I, up out of there. Yeah. Because I'm gangster. Y'all not trying me. I'm above the court. I move at a different frequency. I'm high. I got the complexion for the protection. 
I'm never going down till I got the right people paid off and I have the people on my side. Okay. And the people, the last words you took over, and I'm not saying who, you know, we're voting for whatever, but they haven't done a good job at convincing the American people they have their best interests at heart. So there's only hope in Trump areas. I appreciate you chiming in, man. Have a great evening. Thank you, Florida Boy Jay. Absolutely, you too, sir. Thank you. Okay, okay. I feel different. I think Trump's a real nigga. Trump, Trump is still talking spicy about the judge and the attorney general, calling them incompetent. This is a witch hunt. <laughs> they reduced the bond yesterday, in case you don't know. And he still hasn't gave any indication that he's going to pay them anything. <laughs> and and uh, does anybody in that live chat remember uh, decades ago, they did um, a couple of specials and, and magazine spreads on all the gold that Donald Trump used to have in his uh, apartment on uh, at Trump Tower. Pardon me. <laughs> That's a nigga in my book. <laughs> um, pigs don't fly straight. Got your donation. Uh, oh, Star, was that uh, was that Diddy audio with Meek Mill allegedly smashing real? Shaking my head. I hope not. I, I don't know. I mean, it could have been AI. Meek's a good guy. I met him twice. I just I can't follow him on social media because he 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 types just very illiterate and then uses too many emojis. But uh, thank you for your your donation. Uh, Mike, I got your donation. Thank you so much. Mm, same ship from Vampire in Brooklyn that hit the bridge in Baltimore. I don't remember that. Wow. Uh, okay, I got your donation. Uh, where is... Okay, DJ Duya, are you tapping in? So I see your email, but I do not see your, uh, uh, your, uh, your area code. Uh, loud, I got your donation. Homeland is the JV fix for your borders. I fear IRS, okay? Let's go to area code 704. Uh, this is the hunt for Sean P. Diddy Combs. Are you there? 704? One, two? Um, I'm, I'm here. Good evening. Hey. So, in reference to the Caribbean, and specifically Antigua, it's a pay-to-play island. Yes. Um, and I say that because it's not um, a British territory any longer. And it's just long um, known that, you know, when you have the resources, um, you can really do anything. So um, if he's in Antica, he can be, he's probably going to move about and possibly, you know, Cuba. But um, Antigua is definitely a place where they where they may hold him down. But that's not something that would be like a it's just a stopover okay. type thing. OK. Um, so in reference to um, it's just sad to hear about this whole uh, I don't know how to put it, but um, instead of having like public opinion and everything, it just makes me feel like it, it's just so demonic and upsetting to hear of all the allegations and i come from nyc and i come from that source awards era and we've all you know been around well not well when i say we all people who are it from that era um have experienced um that behavior and i have to say that you know if if this is all true then um it's justified and um I'm, you know, sorry to say, but, you know, it's, it's uh, time to answer, you know, time to answer for what you do. I mean, uh, it's karma in so many words. So that's all I have to say. Well, well stay, stay with me. I, I appreciate uh, the, the knowledge you, you gave us on uh, uh, where he could be in the Caribbean. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know how close you are on the inside to the quote-unquote industry, but uh, I know Diddy to be a good guy, a good guy. Uh, and if you we stop and think about think about charter schools, daddy's house, and other things, he has spread the money around. Um, with him, similar to myself, the myth outweighs the man. People will always have a perception of me because I am ego-driven, aggressive, uh, confident, conceited, and a bunch of other things. Um, 
Yeah, he's only been charged. But now this is the Department of Homeland Security. This is not the FBI, and it's not the local police. So it's very serious. Can you speak to um, what, what, you know... Uh, how black men or men of color, whatever you, you know, how, however you want to frame it, may be targeted in today's cancel culture and the whole, we're still well, feeling the effects of the Me Too movement. Can you speak to that? Well, let's put it this way. Um, in reference to Cosby, you know, and everyone was really just hanging a, a, an anchor around his neck. Right. And I know him personally. And I never had that experience with him. He was definitely a, like a father figure. And a lot of people try to, you know, say to me, hey, didn't he do this to you? Or wasn't that, didn't you, didn't you some, uh, somehow say that to me? And it was, you know, people like to jump on the bandwagon and create their own narrative when they're not even in the room. Right. So that wasn't my experience with Cosby. Um, and yes, of course, the media does have, um, the ability to make us all believe uh, what we don't see and what we don't know. Right. Um, but in this case, and I know this is going to sound however this sounds, but, you know, um, spiritually speaking, when you look at this man, and I'm talking about, you know, Mr. Combs, mm -hmm. um, it, he looks absolutely demonic. I mean, it's just, you know, whatever he's, whatever he's, you know, uh, traded his soul for, whatever he's experienced mm. or whatever he's done to other people, it just wears on him. I mean, you know, the soul, the eyes are the soul, the windows of the, of, of the, the eyes are your soul. You can see, um, and you know, it just, when you look at him, it's, it's quite upsetting because, uh, you know, it, it, he just looks like he's not just been through a lot, but he's done a lot. Mm. So to answer your question, the media does, you know, paint a narrative. And, you know, when they come after you, whoever they are, they will come after you. But when it's in the case of Mr. Cosby, I have to say that was foul on so many levels. Okay. Um, but I don't agree. I just, you know, personally think that, um, you know, there's something to uh, these allegations. Um more importantly, just the way he conducts himself is just kind of, you know, you know, not above, not above board. Yeah, you can donate money and create opportunities and do all kinds of lovely things for people. Right. Um, but it really, it really uh, shows with the way you conduct yourself. I mean, being humble is major part of that, right? Right. Um, and then, and also just being like, you know, when you arrive, when you have a certain stature, you don't, it's not necessary to have so much vibrato. I mean, that you know, you take away from your manhood I agree. when you have to keep up I this agree. appearance and keep up this thing. But on the bigger note, when it comes to back to the Caribbean, um, which is like a, a stomping ground, a, a place that I know well, um, it's interesting to me that Antigua was the, the airport, if you know, and Barbuda has been mentioned and all that, mm -hmm. but. Um, you know, lovely island, you know, great people. Um, it's just what it is. The Caribbean is nothing to play with. It is what they call pay to play. I thank and you. That's for your, pretty much all. I thank you for your, your call. Thank you. All right. Bye. Okay. Very well said. Very well said. Folks, this is the objective perspective. Oh, yes. This is the hunt for Sean P. Diddy Combs. Art is art, and we don't want to hang people for their art. However, you know, um, he has hightailed it. We don't know what's going through his mind. I mean, again, his lawyer released a statement. I didn't get to the statement yet, and it's it's a contrived statement. <laughs> you can just imagine what he's what he's saying. But um, until we hear from Diddy, uh. Uh, guys, is he active on Instagram? I, I haven't been to his IG page as of late. Um, young Kobe, I get you donation. Donation, pardon me. Oh, uh, breaking. The uh, Homeland Security searched the home <laughs> and was able to find Diddy and Meek Mill matching outfits. <laughs> oh, we are going to have some fun and troll. We most certainly are. 
<laughs> Terrence got your donation. Uh, Diddy has no more influence. Uh, dispose the trash. Vic Damone Jr. got your donation. Let's leave Jay-Z out of this. All black men ain't bad. Uh, okay. <laughs> if you say so. Gangs of Love, I got your donation. Did Rory and Diddy have a freak off? Hashtag per. Okay. Uh, Gangs of Love, do you want to cam up? I don't know if Rory is available, but uh, I appreciate your support as always. Mike, I got your donation. Killer Cam found dildo at per spot. With Mace, LOL. Yeah, I think I heard something about that, or, or just maybe I, don't, I forgot. Um, hold on a second. Oh, do, 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 do. Okay, Bone doing work. I see you, sir. Do you want to cam up? Let's maybe we can get a, a panel going this evening to discuss more about the search for Diddy, Sean Combs, my guy. The last conversation he and I had was it was sort of really, really good notice. 2011. I was hosting uh, uh, the morning show, the Storm Buckwild show on 100.3 The Beat. We were broadcasting out of Concha Hawken, but it was a Philly station for the most part. Had a great conversation. And, um, you know, but it is shine time. It is shine time. Uh, let's go to area code 347. Good evening. Are you there? We're talking about a few topics on a Tuesday. 347. Yes, no, maybe. In five. Hello? Hey, hey. Hello. Hey. Hi. Can you can you hear me? Loud and clear. How are you? Oh my God, Star! I love you. Street's got no love, but okay. Where do you want to start, baby? <laughs> no, I have tons of love. I have tons of love. I'm from New York. I'm from Queens. Okay. I used to listen to you on the radio in the '90s. You are the truth. I was not on the radio in the '90s. Please stop. It. It. Stop it. I started radio in March of 2000. Please, please. please. You wasn't on the radio in the '90s. March of 2000. Stop the cap. March of 2000. Please, let's get to the topics. The topics let's first. get to it. Come on. Diddy's on the run. Mm -hmm. We're just going to leave that where it is. Sad fact, he left his kids while he's on the run. No excuse for that. Mm. I just want to talk just really, really quick about the behavior. And I'm no man basher. Come on. I'm, that's not what I'm about. Come on. But I don't know when people talk about, oh, if they're bringing a the black man down, oh, this is America and the crimes and whatever. My thing is, what about holding people accountable, even if they're black? I'm black. Foundational black American. Okay. What's wrong with holding them accountable? What's wrong? You've got this money. You've had an amazing career. You've established yourself. You've got the world at your hands. Why not just sit back and live a beautiful life? Why all the demonic stuff, uh, raping and, and freak offs and why 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 not just live a alleged raping we don't have proof I, I have to say that alleged go ahead alleged all right well that was a legend lawsuit that he settled with yeah, Kathy for yeah. whatever the money was yeah. but you know yeah that's my thing well, well stay with me I appreciate uh, uh this call um you know the honorable Elijah Muhammad messenger to the black man said on multiple occasions, police yourselves so that the white right. man doesn't have to. Let me say that again. Police yourselves so that the white man doesn't have to. You better believe I'm talking <laughs> about Diddy and whoever else. When, it, when it's on, it's on. You feel me? <laughs> it's on. When it's up, it's up. When it's, it's up, when it's, it's stuck. Up. <laughs> period. Yeah. Period. I'm here to squeeze the eagle, to scrape the plate, <laughs> to scrape the plate. Those are old Italian things. I'm here to eat. Let's get the cash app rolling. Super chat. This is what I do. Okay. So anyway, um, so no, you don't have to be a man basher to say what you said, and and I appreciate you uh, say, saying that first. But um, there's nothing wrong with policing yourselves. You know, um, I want to see Diddy respond and i'm sure he will at some point if he's alive right. if he's he, he may have put oh, the, well hey real niggas do real things <laughs> Pow. <laughs> kurt cobain was a real nigga he said fuck it i'm out of here Pow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i can't believe i'm talking to you and just a live right i swear but listen, yeah, yeah. I'm the person that I'm 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 in a demographic that you complain about. I'm African American. 
I'm 51 years old. I'm a single mom. I am. I don't complain. Who me? I don't complain. Well, about you know, yeah, well, I've, I've listened to you quite a bit. You know, you you ride the fence. You know, you play both sides sometimes. You know, it just yeah. is what it is. One of the things I like about you, you know, okay. your opinion moves around. I love it. But I like the conversations you have. They're so interesting. I like that you take phone calls from all walks of life. You give everybody a chance to talk and express themselves. Thank you. I really enjoy that. I hope this platform continues to grow. Well, listen, I appreciate your call. And you stopped the cap. I wasn't on the radio in the 90s. But thank you. Well, I thought you was. I mean, I'm 51 years old. I'm a little younger than you. My memory's not what it used to be. Stop the cap. But thank you, darling. <laughs> Have a great night. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yo, I used to listen to you in 94. <laughs> March of 2000 is when I started doing radio. I made such an impact because uh, it was business. For those who don't know, I was never an intern. Uh, I was never on a street team. Uh, I never carried anybody's uh, creative records. I'm not a comedian. I put this together by myself, Star and Buckwall. I'm Star and Buckwall. Buckwall, the writer from the Source magazine. That's me. Um, I got Star and Buckwall on MTV. We hosted the Beat Suite for a year. Go to TroyTerrain.org if you want to see my, my 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 history, some of my history, okay? But uh, thank you so much for that call, young lady. Um, Destroyer of False Prophets, I got your donation. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Star, do you think DHS, Department of Home Security, will visit T.D. Jakes next? T.D. Snakes is, is what he's called, sir. I mean, I'm not saying that because I have watched him from time to time. And, you know, he, he moves, shakes, and pops. And he, he's always color-coordinated. But um, I don't know. I, I don't want to, you know, say that just to say. But thank you for your donation. Uh, um, permission to speak freely. Area code 252. Sit tight. I'll bring you on the line shortly. Um. Oh, well, what's up? What's up? I'm here to ride on Diddy. Let's go. Pause. Pause. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we got to get him out of here. And I'm tired of anybody that's calling and trying to show remorse to this dude. This dude been a weirdo since I was born in '93. I've been hearing the rumors since the '90s. Where there's smoke, there's fire. We got to get the diddler up out of here. I don't want to hear no remorse. Like you just said perfectly. We got to police ourselves or the white man going to do it for us. We can't keep allowing these weirdos in the rap game. We let R. Kelly stay like 10 years too long. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We got to start policing ourselves. Like you said, we got to get these weirdos out of here. And, you know, um, Cassie shed a lot of light. She said she said herself, she was like, this man was talking about, um, I got I to gotta do this type of act or we're not going to get my album out. I got to, you know, she was talking that type of talk. So when it comes to this trafficking thing, you already know he was doing that across country lines. He well, was that's going alleged. I, alleged. I <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> but yeah, I mean that's my 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 uh, prediction on it. Like that's where a lot of this tra trafficking. You're gonna hear stories like that. Can I ask you to come a little closer to the screen so we can hear you? There you go. There you go. So now, um. With regards to uh, him being at this point in time missing in action, what are your thoughts? Do you think that he he's he's gearing up to to address everything legally, or is he just on the run and he's not going to deal with things because of what Bill Cosby has gone through, of uh, uh, R. Kelly and a host of other you know men of color? I mean, the smart thing to do, what he need, he needs to get out of America. That would be the smart thing to do. But, you know, I think um, the feds knew about this all along. I think they might, I, like I said, they, they must have knew about this all along. It's like the Epstein thing. They knew about this all along. They just are choosing this certain moment to come crash down on, dude. And so right now he's thinking, if I leave this country, do they already know? Am I even going to be able to escape? That's just my thought, you know what I'm well, saying? Let me, just, let me chime in in case you're um, not joining the show. Uh, the Department of Homeland Security is not a law enforcement agency. It's more of an umbrella agency. It has other agencies under it. It's it's not the FBI. 
the FBI, and, and I've, I've heard, heard you say the feds, and other people keep saying the feds, the Department of Homeland Security can can reach out and 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 communicate with other you know, nations, if you will, and try to have influence. They can play um, dirty, if you will, in similar fashion to the CIA. And the Department of Homeland Security, going back to, um, uh, well, they began operations in March 1st of 2003, formulated um, after 9-11, after the Patriot Act was revised, giving uh, government agencies the right to come into your home and search your home without even telling you. I've been speaking about this for decades. So he's got some real issues running may seem like a good thing at this point in time. And again, I hope he hasn't blown his brains out, but um, he will be apprehended, in my opinion, at some point. If he doesn't turn himself in, they will get him. But go ahead and finish up. Yeah, man. I mean, if they're the feds or not, what you just described sounds even worse. That sounds like a like an even dirtier and an even worse entity. And just the timing of them being started after 9-11 just raises red flags for me. So regardless who is looking for him, some dirty stuff going on. And I think if he does get apprehended, like you said, I think we might see an Epstein way out where he just, uh, I don't even want to say the words, but you already know. That's what I would imagine. Good to see you, man. Hell yeah, man. Have a good night. Take care. Okay. Young man who supports this machine. I like to have young people, younger, you know, speak uh, their opinions. You know, I give you guys the last word. On uh, one of my older shows, The Star Chamber, uh, I just used to talk <laughs> pretty much by myself, <laughs> just nonstop. And yeah, I look back at those shows. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Why didn't you let other people call in? <laughs> Um, Andre, I got your donation, sir. Uh, Diddy had three locations rated under accusations, but everyone forgot about underground tunnels in Brooklyn, question mark. Uh, them tunnels had dirty mattresses with stains on them. That's a whole fact, sir. Thank you for your continued support. Andre, am I running your same banner? Uh, I have it right on my desktop. Um, let me know. Uh, pigs don't fly straight, says one more donation. Keep doing your thing, <laughs> Star. Thank you so much. Um, hang on a second. This person has been on hold. Permission to speak freely. Area code 252. Thank you for being patient. Are you there on a Tuesday? Area code 252. I'm, I'm here, Star. Thanks for letting me on the line. Yes, sir. How are you? Good. I wanted to call and speak on the P. Diddy situation. I think I got an unpopular opinion in okay. reference to Diddy being on the run. Okay. I think uh, P. Diddy needs to go somewhere and uh, file for political asylum due to uh, his race and his fear of prosecu- persecution in the United States. I okay. think that's the best bet that he can do. Uh, maybe go to Russia, <laughs> North Korea. And, and file for political asylum. And it's a good thing that he left his children behind. If he's going to go on the run, he does not need his young adult children with him. He needs to leave his youngest ones with someone who's responsible and his uh, young the son that he has in his 20s. Uh, he's going to pretty much have to fend for himself. I don't think it would have been responsible for him to take his children with him if he plans on going on the run. Good point. Good point. Yeah. And uh, I think I, I think he should file for political assignment, uh, asylum because the way the, the black man has been targeted by the legal system throughout the history of this country, we have large media figures who have openly stated to target black males with the Me Too movement. You got Gail King. They did the whole thing with R. Kelly. It's just like he's not going to get a fair trial here. And then being a black man, a wealthy black man in the United States, I would just go somewhere and file for political asylum. Maybe I'm reaching or so, but if he's going to go on the run, that's what I would do. I appreciate your perspective. It it makes sense, you know, if if he truly feels uh, that the tide is already against him. If if, if he does the math and the calculations and says, wow, you know, I'm going to have to spend 500 million just defending myself. Maybe, maybe it's just time that I pack up and just, you know, uh, live, live a different life. Uh, He's almost 60. 
He's he's younger than me. I'm I'm 59. I, I think he's like 55 or 54. 50, I forget, but um, you know, maybe um, maybe he's just not willing to deal with uh the 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 the, the constant scrutiny. And I say this with all due respect. I like him, and I don't like many people, <laughs> but I can see people not liking him. You know, so we all have a perception about us. You know, sometimes people can say, you know, I just, I don't like that guy. And he's done nothing, done nothing to me. I just don't like him. You feel me? I understand. And then another piece that I don't like that people say about <clears throat> P. Diddy and what they say about, excuse me, black men is how we always have to be humble. Why does the black man always have to be humble? Why can't we be have bravado? Why can't we be arrogant? Why does the black man always have to walk around and tiptoe around people in this country to make people feel comfortable? Other races can, can be arrogant, mm -hmm. they can have the bravado, they can be confident, and it's, it's almost like it's, it's worshipped in this country. They, they make movies about people like this, right. but the black, black man has to be humble. Even black people say, you need to humble yourself. It's right. that old slave mentality. Oh, my God. And, um, you, you are so right, and, and uh, that's, that's a whole other conversation, but uh, I agree with you. Uh, uh, with regards to uh, the, the, you know, you know, just you, you're not doing enough for the community. What, what, do you, what type of charity do you do? Charity is an option. It's not, it's not something you have to. But go ahead, go ahead. You're saying go ahead. And like I said, I just, I just think that uh, the, the we're in a we're in a culture now where social media is convicting people before a person actually gets a ch gets his chance in the court of law. That's why I think Pete, uh, Diddy, if he's going to run, just go seek political asylum somewhere. I think he just stopped in the Caribbean. I think one, if it was if Diddy was such a threat, they would have seized his passport. And I think that stop it that he did in the Caribbean that they're alleging. Maybe the plane was already gassed up. Diddy was just trying to go. They was like, okay, we got enough to get to the Caribbean. We'll gas up there, and then we'll we'll put a plan together and go. But if they didn't seize his passport, they didn't detain, like, arrest him and hold him and, and go through that. I think that's the part of the political assignment. Look look how they did Diddy with that, I mean, that SWAT, that whole presence that they presented. They didn't do that with Harvey Weinstein. They didn't do that with Epstein. Right. Look how that 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 whole uh campaign that they put out there that as a black man you should take that as a, a threat by the u.s government towards you i would if i was diddy i'd say hey right. i'll take the asylum I, I feel i'm not gonna get a fair shot in this country yeah that was a military exercise if you will that wasn't just you know the police coming to to have a conversation with you and say put your hands behind your back you're right they came with helmets uh you know <laughs> Uh, uh, big, 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 big RVs, you know, and I'm sure they had 50 caliber guns on there. So, yes, they were trying to make a statement, but um, uh, go ahead and finish up. I appreciate uh, your time. And, and um, I guess my last piece is the, re the reason I didn't like that whole campaign that they went out there. Like you said, that exercise, he's got two, uh, his younger adult kids in there. What happens if one of them would have made the wrong move and then he'd got a hundred shots? Yeah. Wow. His kids would have got lit up like a Christmas tree in there by one of them young. That's regular shit, my nigga. God, but, you know, fresh out of niggas get shot every day. So, Let's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, my, that was just my point. I just had an unpopular opinion. I think Diddy should, if he's going to go on the run, right. file political asylum, and black people need to stop saying we need to start being humble and not yeah. being confident and arrogant. I'm tired of hearing. Black that. people need to stop saying we, we, we. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me call in. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for your support. <laughs> yes, sir. Stop all that French. Yo, we, we, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who the fuck are you, homie? <laughs> um, hi, Autumn. Your donation. Are you on the line? Let me see if I can uh, find Autumn. I don't see 212. I will circle back. Or did I pick up, uh, or am I seeing your donation too late? Autumn, I'll search for 212 again. Not sure if we spoke. Um, okay, who are you? Who is someone says, uh, oh, Aaron, where are you? Are you calling in? What area code, sir? You sent it a donation, but you did not say you wanted to talk. CJ Boyd, send the link to Cam Up. Okay, can you send an email, sir? 
me put my email address on the screen. I like for other people to get on these lines and talk so that I'm not doing all the talking. I mean, I do like the sound of my voice. Let's not get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there's the cam up link, you know, if you want to do somewhat of a panel, okay. Um, CJ Boyd, thank you for your support. Uh, guys, I am open to talk about the tragedy in Baltimore. I, I just don't know what to say. Uh, I, I've been trying to find out who was actually driving, uh, uh, you know, or operating the boat and it seems like they're keeping a keeping that from us you know was it a migrant <laughs> area code uh six four six good evening on a tuesday talking about a few topics are you there six four um, six yeah good evening stories destroy a false prophet hey man what's up good to hear from you good good uh yeah just wanted to touch on this daily situation in trump okay um you know, this Diddy situation, uh, I just saw in uh, Newsweek and uh, Yahoo News that Prince Harry was also named in the suit. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just, uh, I, I see a direct correlation between him and Epstein because there's one thing we could say about all these other abusers like R. Kelly and Bill Cosby. There was no heads of state or major politician or major political figures partying with them. But when it comes to these two gentlemen, Epstein and, and Diddy, mm -hmm. there's a lot there. And that's that's uh that's why I think DHS got involved, honestly, more than anyone else did. And um if I can just say this, Prince Harry, a de sure. a descendant of raw meat eaters, uh incest incest, and they supported the the, the Nazis. Yeah, so that, that's who Prince Harry is. Go ahead. Oh, absolutely. Uh, he dresses up like a Nazi for Halloween. Yeah. Or probably yeah. Just one of his, uh, his gra probably his granddaddy's old uniform. Right. right. He just stuck <laughs> up from the closet. Like, <laughs> like yeah. you know, but, um, yeah. And uh, when it comes to, you know, uh, President Trump, um, yeah, that, that man is a, a straight gangster. Um and he's doing what he always does. I owe you how much? Now nah, we're gonna have to reduce that. Mm. <laughs> by, by next week, he's by next week he's gonna he's, he's gonna probably be. Uh, they gave him what ten day extension. He, he's gonna. Get, by, by the time he sells his share of what of what the True Social just went public, mm -hmm. it's, it's gonna be nothing to him. And what I personally see is um, if he does win the presidency, because anything could happen, you know, I, I am a Trump supporter, but I don't know what's going to happen between now and November. Yeah. You know, uh, I would love for him to swear in on one of his own Bibles. <laughs> that would be, that would be the icing on the cake for me. Can I ask you a question? I'm being a little silly, you know, because I do have to entertain. Sure, sure. I do have to entertain. Is Trump a real nigga? Florida boy Jay said no. <laughs> I, I, I would say, I would say so. He's an albino. I'll, I'll say he's an albino. I'll say he's an albino. Yeah. Why not? Hip hop used to love Trump. I mean, over fifty references, if not more, back in the days from rappers when he used to have all the gold and and just all all that old crazy shit. And this was after the Central Park, you know, uh, uh, teens were arrested. Hip hop used to love Trump. I oh, absolutely, that. and if, if Mike Tyson still loves Trump, oh. Mike Tyson defends Trump to this day. <laughs> My homie Reverend Al, who I fuck with heavy, <laughs> him and Trump used to run neck and neck. Russell Simmons used; they were all hanging out back in the days. Is Trump a real nigga? I mean, he he's got the money; he's just not giving it to the goddamn courts. They lowered it. I'm sure you're up to speed. Uh, what do you do? 175 absolutely. million. Those are old properties, right. and he doesn't even own them. Most of them, he owns a lease. I just had to say that. Okay, I'm, I'm rambling. Pardon me. Go ahead. No, yeah, absolutely. You're right. And like I said, you said earlier, uh, we were talking earlier. Yeah, they gave him an extra 10 days to to come up with the money, which he's probably just going to keep appealing uh, at, this, at this point. Why not? You know? I mean... <laughs> Listen, if it's one thing, he's a nigga. I got it. I just, yeah, I, you know, I, yeah. I, I ain't giving it to you right now. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, he's, 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 
everybody's talking about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> there's no, there's nothing more than than a nigga wants him to be in everybody's mouth. Right, right. Like, look, look at the the haters love me, the people that love me, everybody's talking about me. Yeah. Hey, before and, before you know, we, he's uh before you go, go ahead. I do appreciate your support and uh. Uh, you mentioned Prince Harry. Uh, you may or may not have heard me uh, speak in the past, or maybe you know yourself. Uh, back in 1909, King, en- King Edward knighted Sir Francis Galton, the founder of eugenics, knighted him. Mm. Most people here in America just know Margaret Sanger and Planned Parenthood, but Prince Harry's family knighted the founder of eugenics in 1909. Just food for thought. Yeah, I was unaware of that. Yeah. I was unaware of that. Yeah, yeah. so that's where Prince Harry comes from. <laughs> so I appreciate the call, wow. man. Appreciate the call. All right, man. Yes, thank sir. you. Thank you. Eugenics, cleansing, and sterilization. Guys, sit tight on the phones, and thank you for your uh, PayPal support. At the top of the live chat is the PayPal link if you can't get through on the phones, if you want to support the machine. And uh, Dee's always wants me to ask you guys to hit the like button. It helps us in the algorithms with regards to recommendations, okay? Uh, DG Pistola got your donation. Uh, longtime supporter uh, since Around the Way magazine, and unlike most of these bums, I bought Objective Hate, your book. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Puff been suspect for years. Um, well, it, it, that's the industry that he's in. I have no problem with, you know, whether a nigga uh, uh, licks a hole or sucks a pole. I don't give a goddamn. I'm heterosexual. But um, let's not hang him for that. But thank you. Thank you. I, I, I understand what you're saying. DG Pistola. Okay. You are appreciated, sir. Uh, 105 One Fam says, salute, star. Uh, Nori's homie from murder, uh, murder unit lives in Antigua. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure who that is, but thank you so much. Johnny Too Cool tapping in. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, Chubby says, uh, Diddy's former artist, Shine, probably has the people in Belize taking care of Diddy. Favor for a favor. You know, I did think about that earlier today. Do they have extradition to the U.S.? I, I didn't check. Anybody know if, if Belize has extradition? I did think about that. They, they have uh, patched up their relationship, you know. Um, Flip 82. I can't wait to see Diddy on the cover of the New York Times with uh, hands behind his back and head high like you, Star. Oh, it's one of my proudest moments. <laughs> I used to sell. <laughs> I'm such a capitalist. I used to sell um, the newspapers when I was, you know, uh, on the cover. With my hands behind my back. It's a Saturday edition, but you know, I did make the cover. Thank you for your donation. Um, okay, and someone by the name of Filthy Spick, say it again. So P. Diddler and Jenny from the Block. Uh, bringing them hammers to the club for shine, allegedly. Mm. Wow, yeah, that, that was back in the days. And and they did handcuff Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez, uh, for those who don't know. They handcuffed her to a bench in the police station. <laughs> Gave her a nigga wake-up call. <laughs> uh, let's go to area code 226. Are you calling from abroad, overseas? 226. Yes, no, maybe. In five, four, three, two, one. We have to go. Got to go, got to go, got to go. Um, someone else is calling from abroad, I think. Are you there, area code? Uh, are you calling from Australia? Yo, what up? Yes, sir. Good what evening. up? I'm calling all the way from Australia. What the fuck's up with Diddy? Can you watch the F-bomb right out the gate? We don't do that here. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's part of our love. Uh, Part of our vocabulary down here, but there's definitely no extradition law in Antigua. Okay. Um, I'm not too sure what's going on, man. It's all soft like that. He left his kids behind. This is crazy around here. 
Well, he, he left his grown adults behind. Uh, he has last been tracked in Antigua. Um, that was, we discussed that yesterday. Uh, what are your thoughts? I don't about? reckon he's even on that boat. I don't even reckon he flew there. I don't reckon he flew there. I reckon he pulled the fakie. Okay. If he was smart, he would have sent his plane there. He would have stayed behind. Okay. And got some fake details like that and went out the back window. Hmm. And I don't reckon that people should bring Shine into this either because Shine's a good man. Well, Shine served his time, but Shine, Shine's a shooter. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. Shine's a good man. You know that Shine's a good man. Shine is a good man. <laughs> so you're in Australia, yes? Where you come from? Yes, in Australia. Okay. Any knowledge? In Australia, the sun is shining. Okay. Any knowledge? I'm not sure if, uh, how old you are, but uh, uh, one of my showrunners, Will uh, Foxy Brown, exposed Jay Z. Do you do you know about that history, or do you care? Yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, Jay-Z, hey, straight up, I know this is very, very controversial all around the world, even in Australia. But, man, Jay-Z can get out of here, bro. Foxy Brown all day over Jay-Z. Really? Jay-Z can boot off. Jay-Z can boot off, bro. Hmm. Okay. I thank you for your call, man. Thank you for tapping in. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, Relentless Aaron, are you camming up, sir? Hold on a second. Let me... See if I can send the link. Get some folks on the screen tonight. Why not? Give you give you some shine, okay? Diddy's on the run. Uh, if anyone has any updates, please email me. Chime in, tap in. Uh, okay, I'm not... Who are you, sir? Uh, Pilot? Dave? Who, did we speak yesterday? Okay, do you want to cam up, Dave? If not, I will send you the um you say you you're you're trying to donate. Uh let me see if I can assist you as I'm taking calls here. Let me go to area code three four seven in the meantime. Good evening, are you there? Three four seven Tuesday night. What's going on? What's going on, Star? Hey man, how are you? It's cracking. I'm good, I'm good. So Star, I wanna I wanna Talk about a different type of view on Diddy. Please. Um, I'm not saying that I support what he did or, or I support any kind of behavior like that or anything like that, but I kind of feel like it's not really the sexual assault or the, the rape cases that they're alleging to. Okay. I think that really what it is is basically... Uh, you know the guy that that got arrested the other day for the connection with uh, Tupac's death, KPD. Yeah, yeah. I think that basically he's singing, and what's going on is that it's going down the pipeline, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's getting to Diddy. And what they're basically doing is that they're using this this little uh, sex case as in a way to go inside his, his uh, homes and stuff like that to be able to search for any additional evidence that they're looking for. The reason why I was saying... Stay with me, because we did put that on the table a while back, and, and that wasn't the other day. That was months ago when, uh, when they brought in K Keefe D. Um, you know, uh, Reggie White Jr. has a lot of knowledge with regards to the intricate details of, of that whole Keefe D and Diddy relationship, along with uh, big gene deal. I like to give credit where credit is due. You feel me? So those guys yeah, would be the ones to actually have the, 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 the full understanding. Again, Reggie White Jr., um, uh, um, big gene deal with regards to whether or not Keefe D, who signed a proffer agreement decades ago, and he broke that proffer agreement by doing interviews. <clears throat> so they would know for certain. I can only assume um, um, you know, and I'm not saying that you, you and I can't speak openly about it, but yes, we did address that, that Keefe D may have lit the fuse on what we have now. Go ahead. Yeah. The reason, the, the main reason why is that I'm kind of, I'm kind of suspicious about that Homeland Security went out there to get Diddy. Why didn't the FBI, you know, usually like in these kind of situations, usually the FBI or DEA, uh, you know, it's usually like involved. Mm -hmm. I just feel like, from it just being Homeland Security, I feel like it was 
probably something else that they're like probably just fishing for. Because like even can I ask how old are you, sir? How old are you? I'm sorry. How old are you? How old are you? Uh, I'm 36. Okay, okay. Um, today's generation, you got you guys have the ability to do research, and that's one of the reasons the that when when I when I come on this microphone, I always have notes and things so that I'm not just shooting from the hip. Um, you can do the research, and you can find out why Homeland Security. The Department of Homeland Security, pardon me, um, may have gone after him and trying to classify him as a threat to this country, as opposed to the FBI. I gave a breakdown earlier about the difference between the FBI, uh, the Department of Homeland Security and the CIA and other other law enforcement agencies. The Department of Homeland Security is not, in case you, you didn't catch me earlier, it's not uh, law enforcement. It's It's a lot deeper. So with regards to what he may or may not have uh, uh, done, committed, or what he's being charged with, they're trying, they're trying to get him out of here, if you ask me, I'm just in layman's terms. But go ahead. Yeah, exactly. go ahead. yeah, yeah you're, you're definitely right. Like, uh, they're trying to get him out of here. And like, like you said as well, like, uh, there's a lot of things, like, that's in behind the scenes that's been going on, like, like, uh, Recently, I heard that he already sold Revolt, or that he, you know, that or that he already had plans to sell Revolt, or that he already closed the the, the deal with Revolt. He sold his shares. His shares. Yeah, his shares. So, like, you know, so the things like that, um, you know, kind of suspicious and stuff like that. Um, but I kind of, I don't know. Like I, like I said, I just think that, um, like. The sexual assault, like let's say with the case and stuff like that, I think that it would have been like, I know it's a big deal and stuff like that, but I think because I've seen other cases of like, let's say when it it's like, um, that who was it? Um, um, well, let me jump in here for a second because I'm getting backed up on calls and people do want to cam up. It's Go ahead, I apologize. No, 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 no. Let's, I want to give you the last word. It's deeper than just Go. sexual assault. It's sex trafficking you know bringing minors oh, yeah, bringing yeah. minors from uh, across state lines and exploiting them so so this is a lot different but go ahead and finish up i appreciate your support go ahead yeah also thank you for reminding me as well um so i i heard something that uh that academics actually was talking about with uh his fbi friend uh marley <laughs> uh from the fresh and fit podcast he was saying that something that <laughs> Listen, That's, sir, I, I, I ride with academics heavy, but I want to hear your thoughts, your insights. Did, did he, gotcha, uh, academics gotcha, is gotcha. kicking Diddy's back in, and, you know, he's got, he's, oh, he's, he's, he's got. Yep, you're, yep, you're definitely, you are definitely right about that. You definitely are right about that. But please finish up on what you think. What do you think? Yeah. Let, Ten let seconds. Let me ask you if this is correct, then. Um, in this case, right, would if there's no physical, like let's say, violence or anything like that, would it be considered sexual trafficking? Because uh, yes, the answer is yes, sir. It's trafficking. That's that's why they catch pimps who don't necessarily beat girls, but they traffic them. The answer is yes. I gotta go, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay, we're getting backed up, and I do want to get some folks on the screen here. Um, I have Mister Nine One Seven. Good evening, sir. How are you? And Relentless Aaron. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. What's up, Star? Good evening. Thank you for your support and thank you for being patient. Uh, Mr. 917, can we start with you, sir? I'm discussing uh, the hunt for Sean P. Diddy Combs and, uh, you know, uh, Foxy Brown. Do uh, you think she'll expose Jay Z? Okay. Um, may I first address uh, Donald Trump, whether Donald Trump is a real nigga? Yes, sir. yes, Donald Trump is a real nigga. He's like the Teflon Don of presidents. Nothing's going to happen to him. Um, you know, uh, being a real nigga isn't about color, it's about coup. And Trump has coup, as you see, when they stormed the Capitol building, they lowered his bond to 175 million and he still ain't pay. He's selling sneakers. You got the devil selling the Bible. I, I rock with the Trump. Bibles now. Yeah, look, I, I, I mess with Trump. Bible. All right. And then uh, with Diddy, as far as Diddy goes, I think it's a hybrid combination of nigga fishing and also him being too flashy, but I'll elaborate a little more. So basically, 
uh, nigger fishing is basically you, you, you hook some bait with uh, sexual allegations, you throw it in the water and you catch a rich nigga. If you notice, this is only happening to rich black men. It's not happening to, you know, poor black men. There's no sexual allegations about them and masses. It's about rich guys because people are looking for money. So between that, uh, it's also a combination of that and him being too flashy. Now, if he would have did like a Jeff Bezos, he's a billionaire. He didn't go get him a rich model wife or any of that. He got him a mediocre white chick, stayed quiet and did it. Now, granted, he got divorced. He didn't have no issues. Diddy's in the limelight too much. You can't live trashy and flashy at the same time. If you're going to do dirt, at least do dirt and be a little bit mediocre. So when people say you shouldn't be flashy, you should be flashy, right? Being humble is just something to make people who don't do shit feel better. But on the same token, if I'm going to be flashy, I got to be living life right. And Diddy's not living life right. And that's the problem. Yeah. yeah. If I can jump in. Um, From an older man's perspective, I was disgusted when he started dating young Miami, oh. I, I said, dude, what are you doing? Why, why are you going backwards? Why are you giving a bird like, and I don't want to attack her, but I said, I said, why are you giving a bird like her any shine? She's just. Uh, he should have gotten a mediocre mammy. In my opinion, hideous. <laughs> and I just felt that he was slipping. And, and and then I said, before Cassie even brought the lawsuit up, I said, damn, I think, why didn't you put a baby up in Cassie? <laughs> well, well, Star, you know, they get money, they get bored, to be honest with you. They get bored. Uh, there's only so much you can do with money. You know, you're only one person. You can only live in one house. The shit gets boring, especially if you don't have discipline. So you, Aaron, can you come a little closer? Aaron, just a little closer as we yeah. can you. So, so basically, this money is affording access. You know, and when you get that access, it's a question of do you have a big brother around you to keep you in, in tow, to keep you towing the line, right. or do right. you lose all discipline to the thrills of life? Sex, drugs, alcohol, gambling, all of the thrills that, you know, tantalize us, you're, you're open to that. And, and so when you have all that money, that gives you the uh, uh, capability. Brother was talking about Mr. 917. You were saying people that don't have money because they can't afford they can't afford the excesses. They can't afford to have all these women around. They can't afford to have all these houses. Right, right. They don't have all the fame. And so they 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 you know the R. Kelly. The, and it's not just a black thing. Don't get me wrong. Because um, Weinstein, Epstein, Peter Nygaard, you can you can put for, as far as I'm concerned, put them all in a pot right. and boil. It. And, and Russell Simmons, you can put them all in a pot and boil them. I don't give a fuck what contributions they had, because guess what? We can get, we can make music. We can make music. Anybody can make music. They were first movers. They were first movers. That doesn't make them icons. They weren't Martin Luther King. You know? right. I hear you, but what I'm saying is that when you live a lifestyle that's not right, like if I got 20 keys of coke in my trunk, I'm going to do the speed limit. So what's happening is those Weinstein guys, they aren't flashing on yachts and dating young Miamis and pissing on girls. They're not doing that. They're not throwing sex parties and doing cocaines off a table and hanging out with 25 year old Syracuse basketball players and doing drugs with them. They're not doing those things. They're not seen. So it's like, the, you know, you ever heard, you know, never seen, never heard. He needs to be more uh, uh, sub rosa, more hidden. He needs to do something. You can't be living a criminal lifestyle and being flashy about it. You got to think they ain't dashing them. They're not getting money with him anymore. The locks are not getting money with him anymore. Gene deals not getting money with him anymore. Mace isn't getting money with him. So all of his people that he was getting money with, you up for grabs now. But to connect it to Jay-Z, what these, these sexual, these sexual allegation bullets, they ricochet off the wall. So he catches one today, Jay-Z catches one tomorrow because Foxy implicated him. She said that, um, you know, we're Bonnie and Clyde, a couple, right? You were 15 when I started rocking with you. So now we start looking into that. We get Jay-Z. Now, who else are we going to look into? You know what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not agreeing with what Diddy did. He should be in cuffs. Everybody's been in cuffs for him. He had J-Lo in cuffs. His kids was in the cuffs. Shine was in cuffs. You get what I'm saying? Everybody's been in cuffs with him, but him. Excuse me. Wow. Yo, that's deep. Aaron, you have the floor. Well, just, um, uh, Star, you, you know, you gave me a little pressure yesterday. I appreciate the pressure. <laughs> uh, the night Puff tried to kill me. Oh, wait a out. minute. Wait a minute. I'm but relentless. That, okay. Okay. That's your book. That's right. That's right. Take the time because we, we had some fun, uh, but I don't you want fun to. With me, Star. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real, but I'm a real dude. Hold, Let me hold tell you. Book up. Where's the book? Can you hold it up? 
No, no, no. I don't have it. I'm in. I'm in another um, space. Okay. I, I, okay. I'm a not. You know, I'm. I, I've got a hundred books, Star. This is. This is the real deal. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Okay. Um, so we were having. We were having fun. Hang, hang on a second. I'll give it a floor. We were having fun. You, you, you told the story about uh, a late night episode. You know, um, but up, um, <laughs> I, I want to make sure that people go to your platform. What, what do they find you about your book? So you can go to my link in Instagram, but but if you go and you just Google the night puff tried to kill me, you'll find it. They did a big article in Black Enterprise. Um, it's it's a thing right now. Uh, it's only because it's early. I was early in the game when when all this took place, you know. Um, but this is a practice of his throughout the years, and you don't have to listen to me. You can go online and find the shit on YouTube, the shit with Ti on stage. T.I. had to check his ass um, in California. He got at some people in the streets. He was wearing the Joker outfit. It was about to go down right there. Okay. Um, okay. And he did make the making of the band. You saw stuff where you oh, walk up to Brooklyn. I mean, just you, you see the way he rolls right on camera. You can imagine what goes on behind the scenes, not to mention Cassie's lawsuit, not to mention the shooting that took place, not to mention the shit that I went through. Uh, the shooting. Can I, can I the, ask you to watch the language, Aaron? You're doing good, but just we oh, can't okay. we can't okay. overdo it with with the algorithms. Okay, so so hang on a second. Uh, I'm on your website right now. Um, do you want me to put um, relentlessaaron.net on the the top? Yeah, of the you can do that. That's cool. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I support you, Star. I, I was out there in Times Square while Thank Jesse you, D, while Jesse D was panhandling. Cool. So you were across the street with the brothers. Jesse the, D. The Israel, Jesse J, Jesse D. Force MDs. George Force MDs. Jesse D. Okay. He used What's to be on. He used to be on Times Square singing, doing Michael Jackson movies oh. before oh. Force well, what's MDs. What that got to do with me? I... You were across the street <laughs> with the Black Israelites. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Okay. Now, now you're capping. Now you're capping. Okay. <laughs> okay. The Israelites are my family. They are my family. Okay, I just okay. respect your place, bro. That's it. So I'm putting this in the in the. Uh, I'm gonna try and put this at the top of the live chat so that people can check out your book. But now, but I have to ask you this for those who who, who did hear the uh, the episode yesterday. Do you have an axe to grind with Diddy? Have you been affected? He had, he had, a, he had an axe to grind with me. Okay. Um, again, you know, Andre Harrell introduced us, but the way we got beef was because you, you the CCNY incident that went down the basketball game puff puff got that idea from me in fact we planned the basketball game uh -oh. <laughs> to take place in nourishell the day before the day before my shit flopped okay he did not show up he was supposed to play on my he's supposed to play on my team against the kiss cards kiss fm has a basketball team had a basketball team they were supposed to play against my team Puffy was on my squad. I had some Mount Vernon players on my squad. He just no showed me. Instead, he was on Wendy Williams' show pro promoting his shit the next day. Aaron, so, you, you have know, to watch the language. You have to watch the language. Oh. Okay. So, you know, so now, hold, there was hold a on, Aaron, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm I'm trying to promote, put your book at the top of the live chat. RelentlessAaron.net, guys. Um uh, Aaron was a good sport yesterday, uh, but this is his book. It should be at the top of the live chat. Hopefully it is. Uh, hope they did that right. Okay, so now, so wait a minute. Wait a minute, Aaron, Aaron. Now, see, now we're going down a different path at, from yesterday, okay? Uh, now you're saying... Our history. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You Now you're saying he stole your idea. This was after the car chase or prior to? No, 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 prior to. So I'm the guy that was on stage with William Kunstler, Dougie Fresh, Sister Soldier, and a couple of the families who lost loved ones in the stampede at CCNY. That's and, me. And, and Aaron, Aaron, I'm, most of this audience, by way of uh, analytics, they don't. That's going too far back for them, so they don't know. I, what I know. You're talking about. But the bottom line is, we had beef. We supposedly squashed the beef, but the night I came out of downtime where the alert was playing. I was wearing that shirt, Death Row East. And I believe that triggered him. I believe that triggered him 
And and again, he pulled up beside the car. You know, the whole shit went down. So the whole thing went down. So um, yes, we did have beef on again, off again. There was also a time I had parties up in Nourishell at the palace. And he showed up with 10 of his guys. And we, we didn't let him in because we were, you know, we were sold out. We had a fire marshal at the door. And I said, dude, I can't let you in. And and this was after CCNY. So we had a whole little back and forth thing going on. And he got the last the last laugh was when he had his goons out there that night I told you about last night. H hang on, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron uh, Mr. 917, do you want to chime in or can you just- Yeah, yeah, I have a question. You said you wore a death row East shirt around him and he attacked you. Do you think it would be wise if I went to LA during the height of the Biggie and Pac and wore a bad boy shirt? Like, what do you think would happen to me if I did that? 100%, but guess what? Like, we 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 don't have no fear. You know what I mean? Some I, I didn't wear the shirt intentionally to trigger shit. Somebody gave that shirt to me that night and I threw it on just as uh -huh. I did not do it to, you know, rile up people. I get what you're saying, but then East Coast, East Coast stuff, I was never a part of it. I'm a, a New York promoter or I was a New York promoter doing mm -hmm. New York concerts. I had a magazine called The Superstar and a TV show called Superstar USA. So I was busy in New York. I didn't I, I, I did interviews with all of the, all of the hot stars. I didn't care about that beef. But in respect, I agree with you. That was triggering. Who knew that Puff was going to show pull up that night? Who knew? Mm -hmm. Aaron, Aaron, I, I'm going to say this right now before I go back to Mr. Nine One Seven. You and I have to stay in contact. I want you back on the show. You've got an <laughs> axe to grind. You, you've got some some things built up, and I say this with all due respect. Maybe we we can assist you some type of therapeutic. You know, uh, ah! uh, um, I don't know, discussion here with the audience. You're talking Yo. about he look he saw you in a t-shirt, it triggered <laughs> him. Yo. Niggas, ah. Hang on, niggas ran down. You were driving what again? What were you driving again? I was driving a, a Zuzu Trooper, a stick shift. Okay, and they're chasing you in a foreign vehicle. They ripped this shot. Ow! Two o'clock in the morning. You ran through red lights, they stopped. And prior to that, he stole your idea, yes? Yeah, it was it was a few years back, but yeah, that, that happened. I'm gonna give you, know, you my he, direct number after this show. Let's you and I I got you, I got your fucking get number. You back we, on the we, guy. Yeah, I'm sure. I got your number, bro. We've been talking. All right, it's been a minute since you've been in Atlanta. But remember, my, my dad is Gilmore. Gilmore's Fool's Paradise in the Bronx, the strip club. Okay. We okay. talked yesterday. Mr. 917, you have the floor, sir. You have the floor. Now, just listen, and it sounds like from what everybody says, he was a wild cowboy for the last 20 years, and I want to know why now. Why Why are we going so hard to get this guy now? And I really think it's because people people are not eating off his plate anymore, so he's up for grabs. Everybody's looking for a check, not to say he's not guilty, but if he's guilty yeah. 20 years ago, so is everybody that was around him 20 years ago. This is true. This is true. Uh, like, like I have, I have to say this. Um, we are boys behaving badly. Until, mm -hmm. we, until we get mentors by our side to hold us down. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't have that mentorship. And he lives up to being a bad boy. He, they, he called hey, that Aaron, right. Aaron, Aaron, when is the last time you spoke or saw Diddy? Oh, so I was coming out of Birdland. I think that's the 43rd Street, New York City. And he had a cast on his arm. And... Um, he was alone. He was coming out of the recording studio where Pop got shot. And because the Birdland was like right next door. Yeah, right I, there, I know. Right? Well, can you give us the year? What year was this? No, oh, man. Yo, I'm like the dude said, I'm 99 years old. I, oh, I'm 50. Yeah, roughly, roughly. What year? Roughly. Oh, man. So it was first, uh, man, you got me there. It's, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's all a blur to me, oh, man. Well, that was years af after the car chase, yes? I would imagine. Yeah, after the car chase. And and he was alone on the sidewalk. I was alone on the sidewalk. Okay. To be honest stop with right you. Stop right there. Stop right there. Aaron, 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 stop right there. Stop. Okay, so he's alone. You're alone. He's wearing a cast. Why didn't you stall on that nigga? Pow. Bro, I was fresh out. I was fresh out. I, I had done time, seven years, in fact. And I was living a different life. I, I, I could have definitely done that, taken advantage of that. But that's just not me. That's just not me. Did you say something to him? 
Yo, no. pussy nigga. Did, yo, yo, pussy no, nigga. No, no. I'll I just, smack fire you. <laughs> no, to be honest with you, I went like this. He and he went like this. He knows what it is. Oh, and, and, yeah, he knows. Oh, what so, it is. so you gave him the head nod, like, yo, what's up? I no, I gave him the head nod, what's up? But I didn't say what's up, let's go. I walked past him. No, no, you, 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 were, you were giving a cordial. Hey, hey, man, how you doing? Hey, like that. No, how you doing? Fuck, fuck. Excuse me, how you Aaron, doing? Please, please, with the <laughs> language, please. please. <laughs> no, no, how you doing? Nothing. Okay. okay. So you, hang on, hang on. You kumbaya. get the head nod first. Yeah, like, what's up? Like that. He reciprocated, duck ass nigga. What's up, duck no. ass? And then what happened? No, 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 not at all. He 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 was he was at a he was at a loss. He was what do you call it? He was in a, in a he was vulnerable at that point. You know, you, you got a cast on. Like I don't know what it was in me, bro. It was so many years after. I wrote a goddamn book about it. Nine one seven, jump in there. Nine one seven, jump in. Now I was just wondering. Um, so he he shot at you, or his people shot at you, and this was in the book. So if if this didn't happen, how would the book look without without this scenario going down? Now, he wrote another book about that, right, Aaron? Yes, I wrote another book that I'm a, I'm a, I'm one of the original G Unit authors. Um, I have a book with Fifty Cent it's called Derelict, and what I did was I took that Diddy shit, this experience that I had with him, and I fictionalized it, and I gave there I gave G Unit half the book, and the other half of the book is pending. So in other words, I didn't give him the other half. But I am I'm I'm managed by Chris Lighty when he you know he was alive. I'm one of the All right, original. Pete. All right, Pete. yeah. I'm 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 the only author on Violator Records. You know what I mean? So I was with that with that group. And what I'm saying is is that I I I I was holding on to this. It was on my shoulders for many years to to drop this story. And only only more than recently I decided let me let me put it out now. I just wanted to get it off my shoulders. I don't care about the money. I'm good. Um, I I I just wanted. To, you know, relieve myself, like Star says, therapy. You know, so to write this book, any yeah, of my books, you got you got to come back on, man, because you wrote two books about two encounters at night with this guy. It's been wearing on you. Yeah. The last time was, was that the last time when you saw him? He had the cast on. He was alone. You could have smacked fire out that nigga, but you had just come home from the penitentiary. I was. I was hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You could have smacked fire out that nigga. But it was, you know, you just came home. You said, nah, fuck this whole ass nigga. I ain't got time right now. That was the last time, right? Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't honestly, I wasn't in that. Let me tell you something, Star. We make decisions as young people that change our entire lives. And and that could have been that. You know, and I I'm I'm just I'm grateful I didn't do it. I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna carry any of that on my shoulders. It's over. As far as I'm concerned, it's over. I don't want no money from him. I don't need to sue. None of that. You could have care. popped that nigga's top, Aaron, and prevented <laughs> all of the shit that's going all on. The right book now. writing, all of that. Yes. You Let me ask a question, hey, though. You could have yes. saved people from all of the pain. The trauma, yeah, you're, the right. you're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Jump in there. 97, jump in there. No, and I was gonna say, well, what would be, what do you feel right now would be more therapeutic for you in reality? Having slapped fire out of him twenty years ago while he has a cast on, or seeing him in cuffs right now paying for these things he's done? Smack a fire out of him, right? Yeah, <laughs> he might he might have acted differently. Damn, man, that would have felt good. But yeah. I'd rather I'd rather I'd rather not. I really would rather not. I am kumbaya. I'm being honest with you. I'm kumbaya. Okay. You know what's up in these streets. All right. The guns don't, the guns don't have no mercy. Put it's, the guns okay. down. Put the guns down. Put the guns down. Agreed. Right. Aaron, you'll start. Just, Aaron, uh, Aaron, 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 hang on. I got to finish up with Mr. 917. He's been very patient. 917, any thoughts on um, Foxy Brown? Do you think that she will, at some point in time, speak about the relationship with Jay Z when she was a minor? I think anybody at this point right now that has ties to anybody who did anything right, wrong, illegal will speak if they're not getting money. If Foxy becomes broke or seems like she's in need for money, a tell all book is coming, an interview is coming, something that's going to incriminate him. That's what's going to happen. That's what I think. So today is Foxy Brown. 
You know, tomorrow is Diddy. Who knows who tomorrow is? There's, there's endless amounts of people that could be out there that were potential or, or, or you know, victims years ago. And, and new ones we're creating still, too. So, yeah, I think definitely she's already, you know, threw a little bone out there. I, I, I got to say this, you know, people who are truly suffering or who have been through something, they're not motivated by money. They, they just want to get that off of their their chest. And, yeah. and, and if they have children, they look at their children and then it affects them. There was a girl, I forget her name, Jamie something out in California maybe seven or eight years ago, troll babies. Anybody remember Jamie? She started having children and she could not live with the hurt when she was like 12 or 13, a, a female teacher was molesting her. She wasn't mm -hmm. in the bag. She, she called that teacher. This was a huge story years ago. Called her. The teacher picked up because she was a principal at, at, a, at a new middle school, recorded the conversation, and the teacher admitted Oh shit! To sexually assaulting her, she wasn't motivated. But I just, I just had to say that because we, we, hmm. we tend to think, you know, that just because people come out and speak their truth, that they're motivated by money. No, some of them just say, "Hey, I can't live with this shit no more." Mm -hmm. Good, good. I, I'll let you finish. It. If that, if that's true, what I'd like to see more of is just criminal cases instead of civil cases, because that's what I'm seeing. People were saying that lawyers are pushing more civil cases instead of the criminal cases because they want their bag. They want their 33 percent. But if, if you're really hurt and it's not about money, let's go for the criminal cases. So we get people locked up instead of paying a couple of million dollars and stuff like that. If, you know, money, like you said, is not going to help me sleep at night, then I'm going to go for a criminal case and not a civil case. No. H hang on a second. Big Elvis, the chef, you want to cam up? I just sent you the link. Big Elvis, the chef. Guys, can you hang on a second while I take some calls? I'm not rushing off the line, but I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm getting backed up here. What, what do you guys want to do? I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Hang on a second. Stay right there. Area code 323. Good evening. The hunt for Sean P. Diddy Combs. Are you there? I oh. am. Hey, hey, who's this? Hi, my name is Trina. I'm calling from L.A. And I just wanted you to speak a little bit further because you said this evening that you actually like Diddy and I just wanted to know like what your exchange has been with him. He's he was a relentless businessman, a capitalist like myself, ego driven. Uh we had a really, really bad clash, but it didn't go to blows, you know. Uh and then we were able to put our egos aside and then have uh two good conversations after that. Um so in terms of business, that's what I, I have uh, learned to appreciate about him. Um, I can't speak to his character in terms of what has happened behind the scenes because I always declined invites to hang out with Diddy. Uh, uh, 50 invited me to his home when he bought Mike Tyson's home. Uh, Russell Simmons in the Hamptons. Leo Cohen invited me to his house. So I can't speak to that side of Diddy. But just in terms of business, he and I had some good conversations. We shared certain things. We both went to public and private schools. So, you know, um, that's not to say that he didn't do what he's being accused of. But you asked me my personal opinion on him. Yes? Yes. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Well, ha hang on. Stay with me. Um, any thoughts on uh, Foxy Brown? Do you think that she's hiding anything? Now, I'm not trying to kick Jay-Z's back in. He and I are cool as well. But um, do you think that she's suppressing anything? Or do you think it's not that deep and, you know, uh, there's nothing really there? I, per I personally think that he has taken care of that and that she won't be saying nothing. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, Star, it's the the night Truff Puff tried to kill me, not the night Puff killed me. Just FYI, I know you're the chief cook and bottle washer over there. It, it says on the screen, it says author of the night Puff killed me. Well, <laughs> Would I say that? I... It says it right there on the screen. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. So anyway, my bad. Yeah, my bad. Oh, all I did was put, was put your website at the top. I... Maybe that's a. Uh, I don't know what that is. Okay. I'm sorry, may I ask, are you trying to turn it into like a limited series or something, maybe? 
No, it's not worthy of that. He's not worthy of that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, well, he's not well, worthy. Hang, hang on. Now, now, what do you mean Diddy's not worthy of that? I think now would be the time to to pursue as what well, Mr. Anything, Nathan, uh, a, a series any, or some type of uh, uh, um, Hulu. You know, if, anything, I'll be, if anything, I'll be part of that surviving Diddy uh, uh, series. Okay. Uh, okay. Big Elvis, That's the chef, you're on the line, sir. Please come to the camera. Uh, what's going on, Big I'm Elvis, the chef? Big Elvis, the chef, Rosenberg. I am here, star. Okay, How are you? A little crazy. What do you want to say, Elvis? No, I just want to say, hey, and especially to Ruthless. He, I don't know if he remembers me. I'm a 50 year old man now, but I bought his first books. I remember uh, he used to come he over to relentless. my. It, relentless. relentless. Yeah. What did I say? You said ruthless. <laughs> Relentless, my bad. And relentless, I remember when you used to have the finest women in Harlem with you three at a time. I remember when you used to come to my bar on 133rd Street on Pat. You you was a king. You was a you was the man out there. Your father's legendary out there. I remember you very, very well. And I think everything you're speaking is true. Mm. Thank you. I one thirty third. You you must. You're talking about Harlem, obviously. One thirty third and what? One thirty seven five. You. What? Seven five. Elvis, we have an issue with, with your Wi-Fi. Elvis, can you make the adjustments? Your your Wi-Fi is going crazy. All right, yeah, let me open this door. So so you know Pat Pete. You know Mr. Perkins. You know you know right. all those cats. Van, okay. Van, Van back Wood. then. Back let me see if you remember my name. Back then, they used to call me Prime. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. What's up, man? What's poppin', man? I bought your first book. I think I got like four or five. Guys, 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 guys. <laughs> Can we update this, please? We're talking about Sean P. Diddy Combs. Uh, Big Elvis, <laughs> Jeff, your right. thoughts. This shit went it, left. Thank you, Prime. Hang on, hang on Aaron. All right. on. No, I'm Big Elvis, the chef nowadays. That's old. Yeah. Where do you think Diddy is? I think Diddy is on his way to Bali or wherever there's a non-extraditional way to go. I don't think he is. He doesn't he doesn't want to end up like R. Kelly. How foolish would he be to stay in these states when there's so much of a world out there and he has access to boats and planes and trains? I think he needs to get out of here. I'm sure he has enough crypto under his belt. I think he'll be fine. We hopefully won't hear from him for a long time. Mm. And the other thing That's is he's not, indicted. he's not indicted yet. So now is the time. Now is the time yes. to go on the land. Same with Russell. I, I, That's why, you know, he's mm -hmm. May yeah. I ask a question? What if they find what they're looking for and it incriminates more than him? Then what? Mm. Good question. Good question. Well, there's Mike, a lot of jail fine. cells in the jail. Tons of jail cells. One at cell. a time, guys. One at a time. I mean, that was just a question. I just really want to know, like, what do people think at that point if other people start being incriminated or, you know, just throwing names out there, ushers and Jay-Z's and all these other people who are at these parties, do we then give them the same energy we're giving Diddy? Great question. Uh, I think, you know, well, they got to prove it. Number one, they got to prove it. These parties took place all the time, all kinds of parties going on. Who knows? Right. By the way, a lot of these women, they get involved. And, and I'm not shaming any victims, but a lot of t times these women get involved because everything looks good. They're not aware of being taken advantage of. A lot of times they get stuff put in their drinks. They're not aware of what's going on. They come out right. in the hot dresses and they, they're pushing the sexuality. And before you know it, they wake up in somebody's bed the next morning. And then it's a question of, OK, did I get abused or did I agree with this? So, that, you know, it, it, everything is in, it's not just a blanket um, answer because every mm -hmm. incident is different. Right. Well, but I, I think I'm going you know I'm, I'm to respond. Um, hold on a second, Aaron. I'm going to respond here. Um, uh, I think that's cap. I think um, <laughs> more females actually are, are fully aware. They are sober and, and they do what they do. And then they cry foul later. You yourself, uh, you're, you're, you're a club promoter, uh, as, as you say. 
a lot of these girls come out, why even wives with rings on their goddamn finger. And their intention, hang on, hang on. Their intention is to get slutted out, to then go back, hopefully not to get caught or exposed by a friend or somebody, and then they cry foul. Uh, Mr. 917, can you speak to that? And let's finish up, guys, because I'm getting backed up on calls here. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm well aware of situations happening like that, whether it be married women or women in relationships or just women who just like don't live that kind of life of party. Right. And they meet a guy of wealth and they go out and it's pretty much I like him. I'll do whatever he says. And then now I have buyer's remorse because this guy meets a girl like you every night. Right. So you think you're special, but to him, you're not special because he's wealthy. He can have a million you. So now he throws you to the curb. And now it's like, well, you know what? He took advantage of me or he gave me a drink or something like that. So I'm pretty sure he, he was involved with a lot of those parties. And a lot of celebrities were involved with those parties at his home. So, you know, a lot of those stories are going to come out if they find what they're looking for, because I mean, if you've seen the photos on the news, they, they did a full cavity search on his home. Yeah. yeah. You know? Big, big Elvis, Bye, I want you to finish up, and then I, I've got to uh, get back to my show, guys, with uh, the calls. I'm getting back there. Big Elvis, uh, Thank last you for one. Me. It's a pleasure to be on the show. Check me out. Premium Black News on YouTube. Much respect to the panel. Yeah. And this guy here was the man for real, yo. Oh, the women hey. were amazing. Woo! Okay. Jesus okay. Christ. Okay. Uh, Aaron, um, last word, sir. You got uh, 15 seconds, please. Um, look, I think we're learning lessons from what all these uh, uh, boys behaving badly are doing. Um, I pray that the next generation of rappers and um, uh, talented artists take take note, and I pray that you all get mentorship along the way and don't fall for the okie doke. Okay. The okay. night puff trying to kill. Me. Good night, Puff. Try to tell me. Just, just Google it. You'll find me. Appreciate right, stay you. Stay in touch. Stay in touch. All right, let me check it out. Bye, Mister Nine. Oh, Mister Nine One Seven. He, he, he cut off. All right, Nine One Seven. Stay in touch, man, because um, um, I, I like your commentary as as the others as well. Hold on a second, guys. Um, I want to make sure. Hold on, guys. That I'm okay. There we go that I'm aware of uh, who's uh, available to call in for these different discussions. Um, Stacy Galore, I got your donation. Okay, more Galore. Let me make sure I have your information to put on the screen. Where is Stacy Galore's information? Everybody hold on a second. Hold on a second. And I'm coming to the phone lines, guys. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Okay, here we go. Here we go. More galore404.com. Okay. And Camille, I got your, your your email. Thank you so much, Camille. If you want to uh, tap in, it would be great to hear from you so we can promote your platform. Okay. Um, here you go. More galore404.com. That's Stacey Galore's new platform, exclusive content and other things as well. All right. Thank you, Stacey. I did get your cash up. Okay. Um, let me go to area code 770. Good evening. We're talking about Diddy. Um, on the run, or maybe he's still here in the States and he sent the plane to throw people off of his tail? 770, what say you? What say me, Star? How are you? I'm great. What do you want to chime in? I'm going to chime in just very quickly, just to make you understand and aware that I've been a long time listener. And I have to just say, I really did think that you were on air later in the 90s, but you cleared it up. So I get it. <laughs> but let me tell you something. I'm from Mount Vernon in New York, and I know you're a sharp part of blueprint, so I'm not going to entertain any foolishness. Come on. This is a clear example of a bisexual man. Mm. It could be Yardy. American, I live in Atlanta, and I know what it's like. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did drop that young boy home because he could not deal with the, any more collateral damage as it is. I grew up in with heavy peat rock, that like, like the Rough Riders, all that. Heavy D did stuff at Wilson Woods Pool. Like I come from that. But Puffy did not any, do anything wrong with his sexuality. What he is is a deviant, and those type of people need to be stopped because it can go left, right, and center. And what he needs to do 
that can help the situation to admit it. LGBTXYZ, they will hold him down. Stop with the foolishness. Cassie deserves her flowers. Bless Kim. Bless Kimora. He's been doing a lot. And I know that from just being raised in Mount Vernon. I came from Mount Jamaica to Mount Vernon and from Mount Vernon to Virginia, Virginia to Atlanta. I mean, I only listen to you, truthfully. But we need to realize, like, he's not hiding behind hip-hop. His sexuality has been there, but he's just been a running amok for a very, very, very long time, and I know that. So I want people to stop thinking it's hip-hop, hip-hop. This is this man's sexuality. Look how Russell Simmons ran to Bali. Now it's puppy time. Puffy don't need to be as crucified as much as he has been because of just propaganda. He's a bisexual man. Accept it. It was is. But let him deal with what he has done to traumatize people. Mm. And that's how I feel. At Can it. I jump in? Please stay with me. Please stay with me. Can I jump in? And for those who don't know, when this yes, woman sir. when this woman says she's from Mount Vernon, they nicknamed Mount Vernon Money Earning Mount Vernon because the people, Money Earning Heavy D had Money Earning. Yes, sir. Because the people they are hardworking middle class uh, for the most part. Um, yes. You know, um, I don't know his true sexuality but what you've said holds a lot of weight in my opinion um yes. there, there have been but he's been rumored. if i can just say this if i can just say this you and i are on the same page for the most part there have been accusations and so on and so forth with with regards to deviant behavior and yes. yeah if he would have come out years ago and said hey you know i i i i i i, I do a little fasiman business once in a while once in a while. But Star, they knew. They knew, Star. They knew. Hang on. Hang on. Hang, Star, hang on. They knew. Please let me speak. Please let me speak. I'm I, sorry. I have no inside proof. So with me being a man of influence, I have to be careful not to just accuse him of that. You understand? I understand. But I find a lot of merit to what you've said. If he would have, let's say seven or eight years ago, come out with a, a, a boy toy, someone of age, I think the tide would have been different against him. And I'm going to say this again. I don't know this young female, and, and I don't want to just kick her back in. But when I saw him with Young Miami, whatever his name is, uh, Kreisha, Crazy, whatever, I, I, I was disgusted. I said, why are you going backwards? You should have given she was a Cassie a baby. Beard. You should get it. Huh? Star, she's a beard. Come on. Come she's on. a beard. Come on. She's a she's a beard. Come on. She's a beard. She's a front. She was a beard. Come on. Sad to say she was a beard. She was a beard. She was the beard of his activities behind the scenes. She was his beard. I I'm I live in Atlanta. I know that I've seen it. And I'm like, yo, you have some of these men having women's fronts, but they do things behind the back. She was his beard. That's it. Bate boy behavior. Bate boy Bate behavior. Bate boy. Bat, bat, bat. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, darling. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Folks, phone lines are open. I want you to talk. <laughs> I get tired of talking to myself all the time. I've been talking to myself since the 70s. And, and I answer myself. I have great conversations with myself if, if you're new to this show. I come to conclusions. <laughs> but a boy behavior, huh? More fire. <laughs> um, how do I say your name? K A L O Kalanji? Star, you are the best radio show in history. I moved uh, to the U.S. in December 2000. Started listening to you in 2000. Uh, okay. Th oh, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. You're from St. Lucia. Okay. Yeah, I started doing radio in March of 2000. People think uh, I was on a radio in the 90s. It's, it's the impact that I made with the ratings for years. Not just one year. For years. And I, I, I'm not a student of radio. It was just a, a jack move, a business move. And um, I got my money. And I still enjoy doing this. And I, I'm, I like doing this on the Internet. If I can just uh, speak to that person's donation for those who have never heard me 
say this. Radio is not dead. It's contrived. But as you get older, they want you to talk about certain things and fit into a certain demo. It's all about the target demo. There's eight, there's 12 plus, 18 to 34, 25 to 54 year olds. So it's broken down in demos. I'm a heterosexual male, but I'm not married to a woman um, 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 from my generation. So for me to take a quote unquote job where I can't own the, the audio, the, the image, my likeness, or, or the radio corporations today, they want to own a part of that. I'm not going to give you a part of that. <laughs> and then you want me to talk about old school or throwback. The term is throwback. It doesn't benefit me. That's all I want to say, but thank you for your donation just to be clear on certain things. What we do here and what I do now, I enjoy it. I enjoy it, but uh, I'll keep you posted uh, for those who keep worrying about radio. And that's a very, very small percentage of my audience, okay? Um, David, I got your email. Are you tapping in, sir? Okay, where is uh, – is this the young man who tapped in yesterday? Area code 940. Is that David? Hey, Star. What's up, man? Hey, man, you were my last call yesterday. Thank you for being a good sport. Uh, t take your time. Give us any type of insight or information and give us your credentials again. You are a man who's who has knowledge in the area of aviation, yes? Yes, sir. Please. Yeah, so uh, 10,000 hours, five type ratings, 20, 25 years, started flying in 99. Started my first airline in 06, finished my degree in 09, and uh, currently on a month vacation and following this uh, P. Diddy story pretty close. Okay. Okay. Do you, but, th uh, do you think – to be like breaking news. Do you think right he's there? even in the Caribbean? Do you think there's a chance that he's still nope. here, here and he faked going someplace? So it, this is pure speculation, but – well, this part's not speculation. His private jet – uh, Love Air LLC, which is the management company out of Los Angeles, okay. flew direct from Los Angeles to Antigua, never stopped in Florida. So the speculation is that maybe there was some contents out of that home once he was tipped off, got on that plane and was sent out of the country. Okay. Him being at the uh, airport in Miami, then that's not to say he didn't get on a plane. Uh, I'm sure he has contracts with NetJets. There's multiple corporate companies. And you can basically call a two-hour window, and you can hop on a plane and get out of there. So there's no telling if he's in Florida or not. I just know that he was not on his own private jet. Mm. Hmm. And the last thing I was going to say was uh, no, 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 is... no, no. Stay with me. Stay with me. I'm, I'm intrigued. Okay. I'm intrigued to know where this man might be. Um. So, so give us some type of other information with him possibly putting things on the plane to possibly go to a certain location to drop off maybe gold cash would that be an option or uh, uh do you think he's still again here h hiding Let's well you're you're not a you're not a sicko i presume not to be a sicko i don't know his 25 year history, except for what's in the media. If he's kept evidence and video evidence and stuff, and he is, you know, that's the only thing I can think. Yeah, money could be, gold could be. Uh, the caller or two before when he was talking about crypto is highly likely that he's got some investment in crypto so he can move around. Um, my thing with the corporate, him leaving out of Florida on a corporate jet is they know the, man, the, the manifest, but they don't have to make that public. So, I mean, he could have headed to Seattle. He could be in Alaska. Uh, but I think most importantly, we got to realize that he hasn't been charged with anything yet. And his sons were released. So until they bring some official charges, you know, he's what? He's innocent until proven guilty, right? So. Well, yeah, yeah. But now the Department of Homeland Security, this is not the feds. And I gave a whole breakdown earlier about the, 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 the reach of the Department of of Homeland Security. They don't even give a uh, um, definition to what they can and can't do. So 
you're right, he has not been charged, but they came in with warrants to not only seize uh, uh, um, uh, electronics, which they, they, they claim they got, um, they came to get him, yes? Yeah. yeah. Well, the government's not always efficient, and the ducks may not be in a row. You know, those departments may not be talking to each other, right. and they want to bring charges. It's like, you've done already raided his houses, right? So there's not everybody knows what's going on he his travel has not been restricted he's gonna roll out you would roll out i would roll out if i had 200 or a billion dollars i'm not sticking around to see what's gonna happen or what might happen you know so he's smart if he gets out of here i just know for a fact he wasn't on that that plane to antigua so stay with i just me. wanted to make that clear stay with me stay okay. with me um uh, just one of the differences between the uh, FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation, and the Department of Homeland Security, um, the DHS has a cabinet secretary. Her name is Evan Ryan, um, born in 1971. She works with the, the Biden administration. So collectively, right. collectively, they may have pushed the button on Diddy, and he may know this. And this is the reason why he may have uh, even been able to evade them. He evaded them. <laughs> they came with helmets yeah. and 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 uh, you know military weapons to get him. I I truly believe he knew they were coming. I don't buy TMZ and these other platforms. Oh, he had no idea. I think that's nonsense. Uh, they pushed a button on him. And um, I don't know where he's at, but uh, yeah, the Department of Homeland Security, I, they're looking to make an example out of him. Your thoughts on that? Yes. And the other thing is, I don't think we can just jump to conclusion and say, oh, you know, Sean abandoned his kids. If he was in Florida, all the children are at the L.A. mansion and all this is going down with a matter of six hours. It's not like he was even in the in the in the state. You see what I'm saying? So. Man, fuck them kids. Really H hang on a second. <laughs> I, I I had to say that. Yeah. If it were me, I was gonna say. Hey, hang on, hang on. If it were me, man, fuck them kids. They grown. They grown, goddamn. Yeah, I, oh. I think Fifty Cent Fifty Cent put a video up earlier. I'm, I'm I'm not going where R. Kelly is, man. Fuck them kids. I had to say that. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Go ahead. Hey, but last thing, you had a caller that made the connection. Um, and it's it's probably funny that a pilot's calling in. I'm very much into rap. I love the culture. Like, I, I really love what you guys are doing. I follow Vlad. I follow all these guys. When Keefe D was out there. Just, well, sir, this is not a hip-hop platform. Slow down with that, you guys. Right, slow, okay. Slow down. Yeah, you're right. Slow Let me down. back yeah. it up. But but when Keefe D was spilling all the beans on what happened out in Las Vegas in 96, and now that he's been arrested, you know, somebody brought that up and there could be a connection there. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not, I'm, I'm hoping it's not the case, but, you know. Well, well why not? Uh, this, uh, hang, hang on. I'm going to give you the last word. You know this. Well, justice for pot. Justice for pot. Uh He's one of my top five favorite rappers, but let's let's leave that off the table. Um, Keefe D, a low life, you know, um, and 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 he signed a proffer agreement once upon a time. He ran his mouth. He 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 talked himself out of the agreement, and and he's now facing, I'm sure, decades in the penitentiary. He's old. He's got arthritis rheumatism and all sorts of jazz do you think that that he pushed a button on diddy someone else said that and we've discussed that before before you go well, well the, the feds are grimy man they they'll use your own mother against you so to come in there and say hey we got you again bro these aren't the feds it's that's different. what i'm saying we got you again so what what else do you have to tell us yeah well there was there was the bad boy connection and they paid for the hit right right i mean Again, I don't want to go too far under the weeds, but you know, is there any is there any bodies attached to, to to P Diddy after 35 years? That's all I'm asking. I don't know. I'm just asking. Okay. Hey man, I 35 years in the industry. All right, brother. I no, okay. well, it, I'll get that donation. Sir, 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 please don't ever call me brother. That offends me. But I thank you for your oh, call. Okay. Thank you, man. Thank Sorry. You. Whew. I don't know that white boy, my brother. 
<laughs> uh, Bill, oh, I got your donation. Thank you for tapping in. Folks, I will let you speak. This is the objective perspective. Keefe D, a rat. A rat-like star, huh? Boy, I signed that proffer. I uh, two proffer agreements back in the days. I signed them things so goddamn fast. I was smoking a cell. I'm like, I say, hey, don't, don't you have uh, the proffer thing? The second time, I said, the proffer thing? I got, I got to get out of here. I got, I got moves to make. I ain't got no time to be going to, uh, what is that? Danamora, Comstock, Green Haven. The fuck? Area code 626, sit tight, you're up next. We are going to take a break and continue the conversation here, the hunt for Sean P. Diddy Combs. It's my guy, man, you know, but it's shine time on a nigga. Yes, it is. Um, Alexandria, I got your donation. Thank you, young lady. Uh, okay, folks, folks, please. Hold on a second. Uh. Yeah, if you're sending in a donation, that's one thing. But, um, you know, there's a lot of platforms that have already predicted what we have right now. You know, with regards to Diddy. I'm not just going to give one person. Oh, yeah. Oh, this channel said it. I promote everybody. You know this. But this is not like, you know, rocket science. Thank you so much for your email, um, young lady. Uh, hold on, hold on. Young Kobe, Motown Records CEO, agreed to testify against Diddy. Send me the link. Send me the link. You have my email address. Guys, also on the screen, rebelnyc.shop. That's one of my sponsors. Please go there. Tell them I sent you. Where is my email information? Um, for some reason, I keep forgetting to put it on the screen. Folks, uh, please hit the like button. That's very, very important. Deeds wants me to remind you. Uh, so that we can get this particular video in the recommendations. Hit the like button. Okay, I never ask you to do that, but um, if you would be so kind, all right? Area code 973, good evening. Are you there? Late night, talking about Diddy on the run. 973. Yes, no, maybe? Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm here, sir. How are you, man? It's cracking. I'm doing good, and yourself? I just want to touch on a couple of the topics, okay. uh, specifically Trump. Trump is the most gangster guy you'll ever run into. Mm. He's done more for black folks than Obama did. You just have to review. I would agree. The record. I would agree. Trump also knows how to work the system. Uh, so with that being said, I will always say Trump 2024. Uh, as far as did he. Hang on a second, sir. Are you going to buy a Bible for fifty nine ninety nine? You're selling Bibles and sneakers now. Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, as far as Diddy, everybody's worried about Diddy, but uh, as Florida Boy J says, he's operating on a different frequency. Yeah. These people are worried about sneaking on two carry-on bags on Spirit. This man is jumping on private jets. Right. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, these kids were not left alone. Trust me, if somebody in that house yeah. that's in charge of those three girls, the boys have to fend for themselves. Mm. I'm sure they have access to money and everything else. Right, 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 right. Um, I, far, I did the best I could. I told you everything I know. You know, at some point, you got to fly out this nest, you know? You yeah, fly. that's it. He, he's fly. over there talking about Russell. Move over. Which street you on? Mm. Uh, you know, so that's what it is. As far as Fox Brown, Fox is going to keep her mouth shut. Uh, Jay is not a stingy man by any means. He's not stingy. Uh, so with that being said, she's going to keep her mouth shut and everything is going to be just fine. Stay, stay with me for a second. Um, I try not to make it personal, you know, with her, but it's just such a, a, a weird disposition, you know, um, um, but, but, you know, do you think that he's still paying her, that she's on some type of payroll? Does she put out music? Does she do shows? I don't hear too much Star about her. His, 
here's the thing. You're a man of a certain age, so you know no news is good news. You don't hear anything from her. Facts. Nothing. Facts. Yeah. She's all right. She ain't. She's not going to do anything. She's good. No. Hang on a second. I just, yeah, hypothetically speaking, I don't do hypotheticals, but suppose she pops up and says, hey, you know, I, I, I can't live with this no more. Um, she's got a child. I'm not sure how old her child is. If anybody can Google or let me know. Suppose she does pop up and, you know, speak about the relationship once upon a time. You, you know who would be right there to take the stand on her behalf, don't you? Who's that? Dame Dash. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that old hating behind Harlem joke I would be all right. over it. But Come on. What you got to keep in mind that we call him Jay, but he's no longer Jay. He's actually Mr. Carter now. Mm. Talk about it. So he Talk about himself it. is on an entirely different level now. He's, he's rubbing elbows with all the right folks. Yeah. Uh, so with that being said, he, he's insulated from this type of thing. You know, you got all the people that don't have anything. They're making, they're doing their podcast rounds and all that. Mm -hmm. He doesn't even comment on that. So yeah. it's no, you can't even go back and forth with him. You're going to be arguing with yourself. Say what you want to say. It doesn't matter. Hmm. He's good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's, I, he's, he's running around contributing. I, I, I'm not wishing for her to do anything against you. I just, you know, this is the objective perspective. I have to put these things out there and give people a chance to, to speak. But good, you have the last word. Anything else you want to mention? I appreciate the call. Uh, no, nah, that's basically it. But I just really wish that folks would do their homework on Trump. Okay. Um, they so just caught up in the things that the media the bits and pieces of the buffet that the media puts out. Mm. This guy's done a lot of good. And if you know, like I know, you need to get in there. And these black folks need to get off this Democratic run they on and jump on that Republican ticket. I appreciate what you're saying. But at the same time, the, the word black, that's old. That's lumping people into a certain category. That That's, that's the old way. Uh, but by way of the propaganda in this country, there's a lot of independent thinkers. And, you know, in my opinion, we're coming down to a class war, you know, that the whole black and white thing. That's I, I think that's a thing of the past. But I know what you're saying, though. Well, see, you're absolutely right. That's the old way of thinking. But that's the way they are thinking. Mm -hmm. You ask any of them, why do they vote Democrat? My mother was a Democrat. My parents were a Democrat. Right. My right. family was Democratic. They can't give you a legitimate reason as to why they vote Democrat. Yeah. They just can't. It's because it's sort of like a tradition, so to right. speak. Right, right, right. And, and, and that's not what you can't use 1960s methods in the 2000s. That's not going to work. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate the call, man. Thank you. All right. Have a good night, sir. Yes, sir. Take care. All right. Um, Camille, are you out there? One of my sponsors, Camille, she's doing a lot behind the scenes um, with regards to editing and the YouTube studio, and she's really making a lot of progress. Guys, can I ask you to go to Camille's YouTube channel? Give her a chance. She's a very knowledgeable uh, content creator. Uh, YouTube.com forward slash at coffee chat with Camille. Just comment on one of her videos. She's looking for feedback. She's looking to to engage with people. She's got a really nice, bubbly personality. And, um, you know, I would I would appreciate if you could go there and just say hey to her. Um, young Kobe, I got your email. Do you want to call in uh, with regards to what you've sent me? Okay. You've got uh, some legal documents. Okay. Okay. I see what you sent me. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. You pulled something up via Pacer. Uh, another lawsuit against Diddy. Yeah, there, there's multiple lawsuits against him. You know, Cassie tipped the scale. And again, salute to um the person. Um, sorry, I don't know your name. I should have taken a screenshot. Someone left a comment in um under my video that that we did yesterday, saying that all of this could have been avoided if he would have just given Cassie a baby. I have to agree. <laughs> Sir Shai got your donation. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Sir Shai, I don't even want to mention that guy's name. He's a goofy. Oh, my God, you know? 
I don't, I don't mind promoting people, man. I really don't. But it just if somebody is just, you know, just kicking tires at this point in their in their careers, it, it wouldn't even help them if if I mentioned them. But thank you for your donation and thank you for for chiming in. Uh, let's go back to the phone lines here. <clears throat> I got six oh nine tapping in. Is that a New Jersey exchange? Six oh nine. Good evening. Good evening. Six oh nine. Good evening. Good evening, Star. Peace and love. Okay, well, Street's got no love, but how are you? Say what's cracking, what's shaking? Uh, no, I just got a couple of things I would like to put into the universe. Please. The first thing is, I think this is where this no snitch policy comes back to bite us in the behind okay. with this music industry. Because after it's all said and done, this domino effect is going to include a lot of people that was probably complicit in it just because of fear or just the, they want to get down or be down or, you know, get on, a, put an album out, whatever the case is with this creepy industry. And um, all this could have been avoided. So they, can I ask you to make the adjustments? You got some stuff going on in the background and, and the algorithms are very sensitive with regards to audio. Gotcha. Make the adjustments, please. Got gotcha. you. And I also want to put out there, salute the little Rob, man. Because I can only imagine how many others that's too afraid. That so you have to turn that down in the background, or I have to drop your call. You have to turn that down in the background. It's my last time. Can you hear me now? Yeah, you were saying? Salute the little Rob for um just being brave enough to come out. I can only imagine how many others was taken advantage of mm. that's on a D that's on a DL mm. that did the sexual favors and got nothing in return. Mm. Can you imagine that? That's like a you know, this I've seen plenty of videos in the past, like a female, a prostitute not getting paid and going crazy on a man for not paying her for whatever. Can you imagine a man that's trying to keep it a secret? doing favors and not getting anything in return. He got to take that on the chin. Mm. They got to take that on the chin and just suck it up. A majority of them probably got families now. Why Why would he, you know, why would they want to come out and be exposed like that? So I can only imagine. If I can jump in, sir, you're calling from uh, the Atlantic City area, yes? Yes. Might you be an old Harlem nigga who, you know, you've been through some things. You, you, you've you managed to upgrade, so to speak. <laughs> I'm decent. I'm decent in life. Yeah, yeah. Um, might you be, and I say this with all due respect, an old hating-ass Harlem nigga. Like all them old Harlem niggas was haters. If you didn't know how to coordinate your T-shirt with the, the laces in your sneakers, they would hate on you. Might you be one of them niggas? Not at all. Not at all. Okay. To be honest, I'm from Jersey. Oh. Trenton, New Jersey. Oh, Trenton. Oh, okay. Now, now you sound like you have an axe to grind with Diddy. I've I've let you speak. You know, a, a lot of people a lot of people are food out here. You know, a lot of people are sweet for sweet for the taking, you know, and then the streets got no love. You know, I heard you when you first got in line, you said peace and love. Streets got no love. You know that. So so, so did he did what he did? Well, I don't know what he did. He hasn't been convicted of anything. But you, you, you're already saying uh, salute to Lil Ra. That's the guy who accused Diddy of, of of ripping his booty out the frame, stretching his anus. Something I don't know. Um, any, I'm just as and, a man, I can imagine how hard that uh, is to come out and you know well, say that. Well, he might be capping respectfully. Have you had any Respect. any personal interaction or knowledge or business dealings with Sean Combs, a.k.a. Diddy? Not at all. Mm. Not, not at all. Mm. Not at all, sir. So you just an old Jersey hating nigga. I can respect that. Just an old hating Jersey. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I I want to throw something else out there. Since we, <laughs> I just thought it was strange how, 
<laughs> how broke when you broke normally when they raid they they bring you out with the evidence <laughs> right come on <laughs> when you got money i can see <laughs> it takes a little bit longer <laughs> <laughs> So can you go back and say that again? Try, try, not, try not to laugh, because you're an old hate nigga from Jersey. I respect that, but just break down what you said again for those who didn't got get you. Come on. When you broke, normally when they raid, you are coming out with whatever evidence that they came looking for. Right. But when you got money, yeah. it takes a little bit longer for them to put that cuff on you. <laughs> That's a whole fact. That's a whole fact. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I I appreciate your call, man. Salute. I, I see you you've uh you know uh upgraded your life, man. Salute, salute. Peace and love. <laughs> Street's got no love, but thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, <laughs> well, he just he just dropped a gem on you, huh? When you got money, it takes a little bit longer. <laughs> Uh, okay, hang on a second. We, we, we have to block some, some bum-ass female. Get, get your bum-ass up out of here. Bum-ass Gemini. Let me see if I can block that loser. What you have in your life? Come up in here trying to spend 99 cents. You disgust me. Mm, mm, mm. Um, <laughs> Shanice. Hey, Shanice. Oh, thank you, darling. Yeah, Mike. Okay, you were trying to connect with me on my California road trip, but I curved you. I didn't curve you. Um, are you in San Diego? Because when I do my road trips, it's strictly business. I'm up early. I'm driving the RV, and I usually take RVs. Um, and uh, I'm 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 in whether it be the RV or the the hotel or motel by sundown. I'm an older man, so I can't really, you know, my eyes are not what they used to be. So I don't like to drive at night. And I don't hang out and do drinks. Were you were you trying to do drinks? <laughs> Thank you for your donation. Uh, my next road trip, I'll, I'm going to announce that uh, in a couple of months. I usually take my road trips around September. But thank you, darling. Thank you so much, okay? <laughs> um... Hang on a second, guys. Um, oh, pardon me. Guys, I have to fix something at the top of the... I've been promoting Aaron's book, but I have to promote my own stuff at the top of the live chat. Hold on a second. Uh, Aaron, did you send it a donation? We promoted your website at the top of my live chat for over an hour. I'm just asking. <laughs> Everybody, hold on. Everybody, hold on. Okay. Guys, there's the Super Chat info. If you want to join the conversation via Super Chat, uh, replace pinned message. Hopefully that worked. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Super Chat with star. Uh, streamlabs.com forward slash Troy Terrain 100 forward slash tip. Okay. 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 Let's get back to the phone lines. We're having a, a healthy discussion here with regards to Sean P. Diddy Combs. On the run, it would seem. Taking flight. Um, let me let me double check before I go to the phone lines if there have been any updates. Did he? Now they're just still, um, according to my research uh, here, they're they're showing Diddy's trashed house after the raid. Um, some guy pretending to be Diddy's um, neighbor. He was um, he was trolling as he was riding by, talk, talking about Diddy. Diddy had crazy miners uh, coming up uh, by the bus loads at 3 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, and Spirit, I have a new banner for you. I want to see if um, this banner works. Let me send this to Spirit as I'm. Um, uh, taking another call. Um, area code six six one. Good evening. Are you there? Late night six six one. Discussing Diddy on the run. 
Yes, hi. Hi, sir. It's Camille from hey. Coffee Chat with Camille. Hey, hey. How are you? Good to hear from you, Camille. Hey. We're cracking. We're shaking. Yeah. I just wanted to pipe in just a little bit about the topic of Diddy. Please. And yesterday on my channel, as a content creator, I did um, break, you know, break that news too with everybody else. And I just wanted to say that, you know, it, whatever we read in here is alleged. Um, and I, I know that, you know, because of the, the Cassie lawsuit and others, that there's kind of a misconception that he's guilty, but that's really not true because he wasn't tried by a judge or jury. And then also, um, <clears throat> can't find him right now, but I would say if I were him, I'd probably be with my lawyers. You know, this, this is just my opinion. And um, I really wish him and his family the best overall, of course. Okay. Um, but we, we know that this is just an unfolding story. You know, we don't really know what's going on. And so just have to kind of sit back and see how, you know, see what happens. So I didn't care for the way um, the home in Beverly Hills was rated. Uh, kind of remind me of OJ back in the day. Mm. Um, and why was it televised like that? And uh, we have, you know, um, so many people that are doing the what some of the accusations we're hearing okay um run, you know running around and i i think because their complexion is different they don't get the hype the way he did i think it, it just didn't look right the optics were real bad right 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 but um at the same time if they're if the accusations are correct they do so for the victim and again i'm just you know like everybody else can see how this all goes let me say um, let me say this, Camille, yeah. and uh, I have your information uh, on my show run on youtube.com forward slash at coffee chat with Camille, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I like your vibe. You and I spoke a few times behind the scenes. Um, uh, social media and, and being a content creator, it takes time. You understand that uh, you have seen uh, subscribers uh, uh, grow by way of what you and I do, yes? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And I like your your you know your approach and I want people to go there to hear what you're saying. You're right, he has not been convicted. At the same time, no. we're dealing with a different type of person. He's a mogul, you know. He he absolutely, he yeah. has had relationships um and, and people of a certain caliber if you will. And and they they have lawyers in place. They they um, th their lifestyle and, and other things that they flaunt in front of us, not saying that he's guilty, you know, but it is, right. it is, it is food for us. Let's keep it real. It's food. That's right. So we do want That's answers. Right. We demand answers. At this point in time, That's he right. is missing in action. We want answers. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm not holding his art against him you know art is art what you say in music and videos that's art but this has been a ceo a mogul a businessman right. someone who employs people he has given direction yeah. he has given purpose to people's lives now is the time that we want answers but i'll let you finish up go ahead camille okay and i agree with you a thousand percent and I want to thank you for all that you do for my channel. Oh, thank you. Um, and I, I want, yeah, you're you're amazing, absolutely. And um, also, lastly, I just want um, everyone to know that I'm going to be going live on Thursday, Friday, Saturday okay. at 5 p.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time, and at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. I'm, thank, thank you so much. No, no, stay, with, stay with me. I'm going to post your banner. Your banner will be the I'm first here. banner that I post when I end my broadcast. Um, do you have a wrench for that live chat? I asked you that before. No, I don't have one yet. Um, can I ask? I was, I was in there today. Okay. Can I ask you to send me an email right now so I can do this right now? Uh, because my, my only my sponsors have wrenches. I don't have admins to block people. Um, 
I want you to post your links. When you go live, right before you go live, even if I'm live, don't worry about that. Go into my live chat and, and post the link to your channel. That's very important. Remember? Yes. I, I sent you them yesterday. I sent you two yesterday. Well, I don't know if you received Well, Hang on a second. What's your email address again? Okay, here it is. Here it's it is. Coffee. Yeah. Hang on. Let's do this <clears> right <throat> now. Let's do this right now. Guys, hold on. This is one of my sponsors. Okay. I want to make sure. Okay, hold on. Let me. I'm a little older. Okay, Camille. So let me, give me a second. <laughs> my eyes ain't what <laughs> my eyes ain't what they used to be. Let me see if I'm doing this right. Go into my uh, yes, settings. Um. Uh, hold on, hold on. You should have a wrench. Okay. You have two channels. Yes. Just one channel. Okay. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I have a personal and my business. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay. Check your email or your page now. You should be able to go into my live chat and post links. I just did something. Hopefully it works. Okay. Okay. And I need to go post links in post where again? Po go into my live chat and say, hey, this is Camille. Yeah. Come on over to my channel and post. Uh, the, go to the URL at the top. Just do. um um um. Uh, if you have a Mac, Command C, copy the URL, and then go into my live chat and hit Command V, as in Victor, to post the link to bring the traffic over to your page. Okay. Okay. What is the what's the first command? To apologize. Command C. If you if you use a Mac to copy the link at the top of your channel, and then go into my live chat and hit Command V, as in Victor, to post the link. All right. Okay. Okay. I'll do that. Thank you, Camille. Thank you so much. Have Thank a good you. night. You too. Thank you. It's a very nice uh, person. Okay. All right, guys, hold on a second. Uh, uh, thank you, folks. We already know about Diddy selling his uh, revolt shares. Spoke about that earlier. Thank you for your emails. Okay. You go to area code eight zero three. Good evening. Are you there? We're talking about Diddy on the run, or is it just an MIA? Are you there? Good evening. Good evening. Yo, what's up, man? Hey, man. How are you? I'm all right. Can you hear me? We can hear you, sir. Where do you want to start? We can hear you. Yeah, man. No, I, I was just basically saying, man. I, just like the caller said earlier, man. It, it's a public lynching, man. It, it, it's the same thing we've seen with Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, all of them, man. The man, the man is innocent until proven guilty. Okay. Okay. I'm listening. You know that the the media has a way of putting all these things out to where he's already convicted. I mean, how can a man get a fair trial? The jury's already tainted. I, I can hear what you you're know? saying or what I think you're saying, but he hasn't even been arraigned yet. I mean, uh, we just have uh, 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 well, well, we, we have what, what, what yeah, we think are, you know, um, um, uh, charges, but I still can't find the actual charges. It's, it's an investigation with regards to sex trafficking. Go ahead. Yeah, man, it, 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 it seems like we've seen this before, man. We, we, we saw Bill Cosby get illegally convicted. and. Uh, you know they 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 let him out of jail. I mean, it, it's becoming a trend, man. It, it it's really it's really sick, man. I'm not saying he's guilty or he's not, but once they put it out in the media, you have all these people. All we do is repeat what we hear as a fact. We're just repeating what we hear. That's all. Stay stay with me. I can, I can um, understand what you're saying, but uh, I think that Bill. Cott uh -huh. I think that Bill Cosby, uh, I think he was putting things in females' drinks. Back during his time, that whole Spanish fly was, was um, it was a common thing. It caught up to him. You know? so, and guess what? It doesn't, it, it, it doesn't really matter. Every, you know, can you hear me? Somebody's talking. 
Yeah, let me make some adjustments. Okay, you were saying, go ahead, go ahead. It doesn't matter whether he did or didn't do anything to those women. Talking about Bill Cosby. Mm. We, it, it's, it, as an American, you should get a fair, a fair trial, right? Well, you just said it doesn't matter. You just said it doesn't matter if he did something or not. You just said it. That's besides the point. He, he should be able to have a fair trial. Because I don't know what he did. I mean, he could have, but he may not. I don't okay. know. Okay. But, you know, he, they, they illegally convicted him. Illegally. Yeah, there were some some of the lawsuits, uh, in my opinion, that should not have been able to be brought brought back up from decades ago. But um, I think the track record uh, shows that he was using Spanish Fly. He even wrote about, oh, pardon me, he spoke about it on one of his old albums, putting you know Spanish Fly in women's drinks. Now, again, that's art, but you know. Um, I don't know if I can necessarily use a uh, 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 Bill Cosby as an example against what Diddy is going through, but you have the last word nonetheless. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, if you if you do wrong, you deserve to do your time, your punishment, or whatever. But all of this media and and putting all this stuff out there and 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 getting the uh, you know, the federal court goes off of facts and opinions, okay. not emotions, not a, not not hearsay. They go off of facts and evidence. But what's what's beginning to happen is we're starting to go off of public opinion, mm-hmm. convict them in the public, then it's easier for them to convict them of something they may not have even done. Yeah. We we just repeating what we hear. We can't say, oh, Diddy did this or Bill Cosby did that or you know, we just we're repeating what we hear. That's all. And well, well hang, hang, on, hang on, but b- b- before you go, before you go, do you want to see him? Return and and deal with these charges, or do you want to see him leave the United States and you know just um, avoid? No, I'll, honestly, avoid what uh, may be a a a, a uh, slanted or a bias legal system. It, it really, it, I don't really. It doesn't matter to me. I just, I just want people to be able to. Uh, uh, I just get tired of seeing the same thing over and over where, where they, they smear you in the in the media and they, the, all the YouTubers and the blogs are saying this about you and you did this. And it's all secondhand information. You know, give them his day in court if they charge him and give them a fair trial, you know. That's all I'm saying. Well, it's secondhand information if you don't do research, but I appreciate the call. Thank you. Even with the research, it's still secondhand information. You know, it's 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 still what somebody else is saying. It doesn't make it facts. You know. Well, what would you do? Let, let's, if I can go to you, what would you do if you were in his position? What would you do? Oh man, that's a tough one. I don't know. No, it's not, you know, sir, 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 no, my- sir. No, it's not. Can, can I get on? Can I get on real nigga time? It's not a tough one. If it were me, so, I, I would get out the goddamn country and never come back. Now you go ahead and finish up. Yeah, but you know, it's, it's that's easy to say, you know. But the man has a family, he has kids. I'm pretty sure he has a lot of people he take care of, you know. So he, I would probably let my lawyers advise me, you know. But we got to start repeating what we hear, man. Right, right. And, and, no, no, sir. Never mind the lawyer and fuck them kids. Y'all fend for yourselves. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. Fuck them kids. <laughs> huh? Facing 50 years or life? Ain't nothing to think about. Hey, listen, I would move to Prague. Uh, give me some other country. Um, uh, the Bahamas. No, no, pardon, no, not the Bahamas. Um, give me some other places. Hang on a second. Uh... Did this person send 99 cents or $99? I'm, I'm confused. I'm doing too much. Yeah, I, I, okay. Um, someone says Greece. I don't know if I've I never been to Greece. I just, I don't, no, nah, I wouldn't go to Greece. Uh-uh. Iraq. 
No, nah, I'd rather go to jail in California than Iraq. Russia might be an option. How, how is Edward Snowden living in Russia these days? Uh, Senegal? No, I wouldn't go to Senegal. Uh-uh. Let's do one more call, guys. One more call. Area code 760. You are my last caller. Good evening. Are you there? Diddy on the run. Are you at the speed? Hey. 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 Hey, let's... hey Sar. Um, hey, man. First, first, I want to start by saying uh, thanks for picking up my call. Okay. Uh, next, second topic. Um, I was listening to you talking about JC and Foxy Brown and I think Foxy Brown has a bag because whatever you want to say about it, she can go back. She can get testimony from people saying, yes, I was underage. Mm. And if we learn, and, and if we learn anything from the Diddy situation was that if he had paid Cassie before she filed the civil suit, right, right. I don't think none of this would ever happen right and jay has everybody knows jay has long money and i'm gonna say allegedly but everything points like i mean pictures people can corroborate that they were officially dating when she was underage so that's a super easy back for her Go get the same lawyer that Cassie uh, had. Go to that lawyer. Tell that lawyer your story and tell him, hey, I want a bag. I want to settle for the same amount. And, dude, you think, you think Jay? I don't know the whole thing. I don't know the whole backstory about Jay. But I don't know if you're paying attention about, like, 50 Cent oh. posting about Jay. He knows, like, uh, sir. Fifty's a troll and a rat. Let's not go there. I don't have time for him tonight. I don't have time for him tonight. Okay, okay. But Jay has a bunch of skeletons in his closet, and he's he's as as big as he is right now. Pause. No Diddy. He's trying to upgrade to like the next level. Like I'm talking about owning maybe an NFL team, MLB team, mm -hmm. you know that type of thing. So. That's a fuck. That's a. I'm sorry. That's a. That's a. That's a good opportunity for Foxy Brown. And yes, yeah, she deserves it back because that actually happened. So, that's uh, point number one. And number two, um, I uh, I was listening to Academic Stream when all this went down, and well, well so listen, Act is my guy, and I appreciate what he's doing. But uh, he, he's got an axe to grind with Diddy by way of Young Miami. So just tell me what you think. I, I fuck with Act okay, Heavy. Okay. I fuck with Act Heavy. Okay. But I want to know what you think. Okay. I know. Okay. I know Act is biased because he has an act to grind with Young Miami. But but he's friends with one of the guys from Fresh and Feet. And his name is Myron. Now, Myron used right, to... Sir, sir, again, I want to hear what you think. I'm not going in that direction. If you're done... That then we're done. Oh no! Okay, 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 okay. What, what do I think? What do I think? Okay, I think that, I think that, by looking at the situation, that the Fed, the Feds raided three of his properties in three different states. Okay. Um, the Feds only like the, there's two places that the government cannot raid unless. Well, I mean, let me repeat this. There's two places that for the government to get a warrant, it's like at the top level. And those places are your home and your business. Like if they want to go to your business and search through your office, or if they want to go to your home and search through your personal properties, the level of evidence that they need to get for a judge to approve that warrant, it's literally somebody that can tell like, from first, right, sir, sir, I've already spoken about this on multiple occasions by way of the Patriot Act. They need very little now to do that. But listen, man, I appreciate your call. All right, thank you for chiming in. Of course, thank you, Thanks. man. Absolutely. Okay.
here. All that has been uh, changed since the Patriot Act. You know, the government can come into your home, search your home, and they don't even have to say they were there. Hey, I thank you folks for your um, support this evening. Thank you for your patience. Uh, please check out my sponsors. Spirit, if you're out there, I got a revised banner. Let me know if this works uh, or check your email, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Thank you, and be safe.